Hello everybody, welcome to How We Roll. Today's my day. I'm Sashmo, I'm gonna be your DM today. <laughs> We're doing Grisville Dicar. We just finished our first episode in which our adventurers uh, were told that the town they've just recently invested in property on uh, is a uh, kind of um, dying, uh, a dangerous death. There is something at work in the woods, not exactly a good thing, and it's going to possibly be uh, killing them tonight uh, in the form of giant bugs. <laughs> so, uh, to giant find out who bugs. them are, uh, we are going to start down at the bottom here with the Dragon Spooker. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your character. Hey guys, I am the Dragon Spooker, and I am playing for you Vendetta Kisara. She is a cat folk ninja, and that's about all we know about her right now. Yeah, that's about all anybody knows about her. It's, it's like a ninja's job, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we got Nat. Hey guys, I am Nat. I am playing Cassia, who is um, a ranger. She's a shapeshifter. She really likes animals more than people. Not very smart, but that's cool. Yeah, smartness is like becoming less of a cool thing. I remember as a kid, it was like, <laughs> it was like yeah, you want to be as smart as you can be. And then like it's just like 2020, no. everyone's like, that's no. unattractive. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> that thing I invested in. And also Shagget did that too, right? Hey, you got... Yeah, go Shagget. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my segue to you, one. smart boy. <laughs> what, a, what a segue that is. Um, hey, guys, I play Kondo Merriman. He's a cross between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Richard Simmons, I guess. He's a human marshal, and he boosts people morally, unless they don't want it, like some people in this party, <clears throat> Vendetta, <clears throat> who refuses to limber up. Yeah. Some cats just don't get camp, you know? I'm a cat. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs to limber up, too. She doesn't need, she doesn't need your, your pity. Your pity limbering. When's the last time you flexible. saw a cat that did anything you told it to? I refer uh, to the one oh, well, okay, in front of my monitor right yeah, now. Even though I told him repeatedly to get down. Yeah, next time, next time you go to limber everybody up, go, everybody but Vendetta is allowed to do this one. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> you know, know your crowd. Uh, that segues into gore somehow. There we go. There you go. And I play a gnome cleric called Glim Shady. Little three foot three um, creepy guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's putting it mildly. You know, <laughs> for the, so I was, um, I did a very early morning stream a few days ago where I was doing some of these spell macros. Mm -hmm. And I was doing you, Gorbad, your character's Glim's. And someone, I forgot the name, came into chat and said, Glim Shady, oh God. <laughs> like, he, in chat, he rolled his eyes, and I was like, what's wrong with Glim? Yes. What's the problem with Glim? Like, it was a very visceral reaction to your character. <laughs> I love it. Well, you know, the name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Made me laugh. Yeah. That's so good. It was like nine in the morning, too. I was exhausted. I was just like, what the hell do you have a problem with here for? <laughs> uh, Pepper Jack. It's just that Eminem's tracks are really hard to turn into bardcore, um, but I'll see what I can do. Um, that being said, uh, we kind of dumped last round, uh, last time on uh, the site of this uh, three bugs making a snack out of the out of the person of interest. Um, Y'all down here, and uh, I reckon if none of you are doing anything, Ergus is going to immediately start shooting. That's his brother. Uh, anybody have anything against that? <laughs> hey, it's his brother. It's his so brother. Yeah. Was. <laughs> it was his brother. All right. So he's gonna take some shots exactly. right out the gate, and I'm gonna go ahead and put up some fight music because while fight I'm time. rolling my attack, you guys can go ahead and give me your uh, your, your you, initiative. First initiative. You all have plus three on it, guys. Just so you know. That's, that's your plus three attack. on initiative. Yes, I had my aura up. That boosts your initiative. Uh, that's nice. Why is it giving us decimals? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so yeah, cheap. Those are, so the point zero. How's pattern. that music for chat? Because it's loud for us. Okay, uh, I'll turn it down a little bit. But that that doesn't mean anything because the audio on Roll20 and what broadcasts oh, yeah. are not always the same, right? You all have your own personal controls over Oh, and we've still got those, we got those janky initiatives yeah. did you add plus three to those guys Just i did you know. not it didn't ask me 
But uh, yeah, twenty one plus three, so twenty four. Yeah, there, there's a there's a temp misc mod field. You can just put three in quickly to you know. Okay. No. Oh. So, yeah. Just now. So, uh, that's oh, that's. Because it won't that's ask you. Point. It's a little annoying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it because it's out of a hundred? Is that why it's doing? Wait, no. Uh, I don't know, Casey. <laughs> chat That's saying that chat saying that you're a little bit quiet, but it might be because the music's still loud. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna dump that down a little bit more, and then that should be good. I'm. A little concerned. It looks like the music file that it uploaded is not what I intended, which is annoying. So I'm just going to switch it to the other one that I know I have, and we're just going to okay. do that. It's not as epic, but it's fine. I, well, I, don't, I, I don't fight non-epic music. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I did my best to compose something entirely within a day. Um, <laughs> it just didn't well, export sad. right. It didn't export right. Um, yeah, I was worried because I, I noticed I'm clipping a little on the um, audio mixer, so I turned my volume down a bit too much because I was laughing because you made me laugh, and I think that's why. So it should we'll be better now. Again. We're just yeah, going to go. We'll with never this make for you laugh ever again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't we're not do very it. funny anyway. Okay. Um, I don't remember. I think, Cassia, your role was originally 16. Okay, so I boosted you. Vendetta, I did not boost you. Your, or did you re roll it? No. Okay. No, I didn't. So that's a twenty-four. That's a really good one. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I put my. You got yours right, and then Glim's. Glim's is right. Is right. Okay. <laughs> cool. I just want to have my little turn order thing correct, and then I'm gonna roll for the. Oh, well, he's going last, and I'm gonna roll for the. And they go after all of you. Okay, so that makes this pretty easy. You right click version. Mm. Oh, yeah, there was that. Do add item, then. Uh, and then add on. Uh, uh, okay. Should be in the proper order. Yeah. Okay. Initiative is worked out. Uh, his shot was a hit earlier. I rolled the shot and never rolled the damage. Okay, so an arrow goes flying directly into the uh, guy currently gnawing on the head of his brother, um, and it really hits its mark. Like it, it like hits like a nerve or something and pinches. You see the like weird creature wince and screech uh, in pain as um, a massive blow hits. I can just type the calculations in. That's right. I love the bit that. Uh, and then while you all worked out the rest of your initiative, he goes ahead and uses his second shot, which he has, because he's a good boy. Uh, that one goes whizzing past, however. <laughs> that one goes whizzing way past and shoots into the forest behind it. Um, unfortunately, he's unable to hit. I gotta get these in the correct order now, because they're adjusted. So, Vendetta, you are up next. Oh, of course I am. Uh... <laughs> Kitty! <laughs> Want to check I in. can go really far, guys. Give me a second. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, last, bit, bimbley, bimbley. Last, last check on music really quick. I just want to make sure this is all right, guys, right? Like the volume levels seem okay? Because I, I, you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Could the music stand to go down a little more, chat, or is that good for you guys? Good, good to you. Okay. Okay, we're going to. You're gonna have to use your Windows settings to change my volume, <laughs> <laughs> All as right. Long as, as long as you don't mumble. Okay, and not too. Okay, okay. I'll, I'm I'll going go to ahead and entertain it. I'll, I'll um. Drop down to all fours and dash up here as quickly as I can. Okay. And pop back up and get ready to... Get ready to... <laughs> yeah, um, I had to think about it for a second. Yeah. Cause I, the problem is I don't know how fast she can go. I think she has like a how far she can go. Before 
Counts but if she's yeah. down on all fours, I think she can go twice as fast. So I think she can go. Yeah, that's like a dash. But that uh, does that count? That counts as your dash, right? Right. So. so if I so if you okay. dash, you don't get to do anything else. That's okay. Uh, I'm just trying to see how fast, how far she can go. Let me put her back for a second. So she can go the full 80 feet. Yeah. If yep. you did a dash action, you could go anywhere on the map. You're you're speedy. <laughs> all right. Yeah. She's gonna. She's gonna rush way over here. Okay. Let's clear the whole map and get over there. All right. Um, is just... is this is this like a little raised area? Yeah, it's or is a that... cliff. So you're a little bit underneath it. Okay. Um, it's raised Roughly up how about, tall is that cliff? Does it's it about look? ten feet up. Okay. Yeah. Taller than you. It's very <laughs> tall for me. It's very tall for you. Um, yeah. Okay. It's a little bit of a ridge. It gets a little bit um, less tall over here, just kind of declining from this point to that point. Was this, zero. this that place. sappy stuff? Yep. So, yeah. Um, I should point out. So we don't out, want to yep. go in here. You don't want to go in there. You might never come back out. Looks like there's some there, got too. got some over there as well. Yep. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, Glim, Glim is going to say... Be careful of the sticky stuff on the floor. And then he'll point. Look. Right. Glim from Mexico? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> as far as you Got know. a little bit of an accent. Fantasy I kinda like Mexico, it. yeah. <laughs> Alright, you know, uh, so... Common isn't his primary language. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be. <laughs> He's a right. gnome. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, you're running over up there. Uh, did you want to use, like, a... I don't know if you, because you're not like a rogue. I'm just thinking you're a rogue. Do you have like the hide or something? You're just you're just going straight up there, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Then up next is Kondo. All right, I'm gonna be like, uh, oh, you're gonna let them come to me, come to me, uh, and I'm gonna charge, uh, 50 feet, because I have that. We all have that motivate dex, the motiv- motivate movement. Okay. To go an extra five yards. So since I'm dashing, I can go, you know double that, right? Yeah. And I'm going to go over here, and the only other thing I can do is change uh, one of my auras to hardy soldiers, which basically gives everyone damage reduction minus one. Damage reduction of one. Um, nice. If they get hit by something, they take one less damage. And I, I, to, to that, I'm going to be like, your skin is strong, guys. Your skin is strong. You can handle anything they throw or pince at you. You know, they're going to pince. They pince at you. <laughs> they're going to pince. Well, and when they, they pince. Got, they got pinces, but don't worry. You can withstand it. Block the pain. And when they pince. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to hold pinch. my shield in front of me, and that's all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can do. Uh, all right. The dash and my swift action. So. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, so with that, we got uh, Cassia up next. Okay. Um, can I climb this tree? Here, oh, or does it have the sap around it? Oh, this oh, one here? Yeah. Oh, that one has no sap under it. That tree looks like weirdly to... healthy compared to most. I would like to climb it. Alright. I, I think that's a skill check in 3.5, isn't it? Oh, you tell me. Oh, I don't... It, no, it is. Well. <laughs> it is, yes. It was rhetorical. <laughs> um, yeah, so... You tell me what to do. Give me a, give okay. me a climb check and just... See how well and easy you get up it. I'll give you a dollar to move. Oh yeah, no, you you look at this and you're just like, ah, yeah, yeah. it's the trees that I always climb all the time because that's like my favorite <laughs> thing to do. This is basically ground to me, you say, as you get to like uh-huh. way up in the tree. Um, I'm yeah. going to count that as, you could consider that a bonus action getting up the tree. It's just part of your Ooh. movement. Okay, okay. Then I would like to shoot. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. I'll let you do it. Okay, I'm gonna shoot a beef bag then. I mean, technically, you might be my enemy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So go ahead and give it a shot, and then. What do we got? Uh. Seven? Wow, do I get the a, plus four? How did you get them? That's a huge bonus. That's awesome. Um. Yeah, um, it's, um, I think it's the 
damage. It's plus four damage. Oh, damage. Hit. Okay. Yeah. So um, that's gonna miss. Uh, an arrow goes okay. whizzing past the head of the other cool. one, who looks up almost comically, like, "Did that thing just climb a tree?" <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be all for you, I guess. Can a uh, friend take a turn on my turn? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do friend on your turn as okay. a supplemental. Friend is going to just like scamper here. That took me a second. I forgot the thing's name was Friend. Yeah, I the, mean, friend, really the friend's name, name is Friend. She doesn't really name things, and she considers it her friend, so it just became Friend. Huh. You hear that, cat? So, so I have a fucking. <laughs> I have a, a. What is this again? What is Friend? Technically, it's a Fisher cat. A Fisher. So I have a Fisher it's cat a just chilling next to me. Okay. I'm not chilling. It's the probably looking a little right. aggressive. You know, yeah. a little oh, yeah. into a... I feel really co- okay. I'll protect. I'll protect this with my right. life. Yeah. No, <laughs> he's gonna go into a like freaking rage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This thing's run up, and somebody just insulted Firefly in front of it, and it really loves Firefly. <laughs> so. <laughs> right, it does. Nathan Fillion right. is a treasure. The movie doesn't <laughs> count. Uh, Glim, you are up. Hey, the movie does count. <laughs> <laughs> More divisive than any political thing. <laughs> Firefly movie, yes or no? <laughs> right. Uh, Glim, you are... It is It is all you, buddy. Okay, um... Glim is none too enthused about this idea of getting involved in fighting stuff. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, he knows he has to do something, so he is going to... He is going to move... Um, just to the cut are these bushes like over here is this a bush or what is that or are they just patches of grass oh yeah that's just grass yep. okay um, in that case yeah Glim is going to move he's staying underneath the canopy of the tree kind of crouching down low and he is just going to move just to here okay and um, he is going to ready a he's going to ready a, a spell but he is not going to cast it um he's going to ready ready um a sound burst but he's going to hold on to it for now okay okay sounds good uh with that we are at the the big bug boys the triple b's uh he just got shot real bad uh he doesn't love it um <laughs> so he's going to basically turn towards the source of the pain and see Big Shield Boy. Uh, and scamper down the wall and just kind of get to a position where, you know, you know, it's just like, uh, <laughs> he's going to do that. Uh, he's looking directly at you and he's thinking, ah, shinier than usual, but I'll take a bite. And he's going to take a bite. All right. Got their data here. Here we go. Here, here it comes. Here it is. Oof. Oh, that... I mean, that just hits me. Just a little bit. Uh, that's one over my armor class. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's an impressive that... armor class, though. Dude. <laughs> like, shields. you're gonna die, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... I'm gonna roll this as it is. Because that's how you're supposed to do it, right? Two, three, six. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna get bit for 11 points. Ow! Uh, and you're gonna want to give me a uh, fortitude, or I think it's a grappling in 3.5. Is it a grapple versus a grapple, or is it just gonna be... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you're gonna want to save your grapple here. Oh, so you want me to do the grapple? Huh? Yeah, you're getting grappled. Oh my god. It's automatic. <laughs> wow. Uh, that doesn't help at all oh, against this. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, see... Well. <laughs> Oopsie! This <laughs> 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 is my first uh, combat! This is my first combat! What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, okay. Um, so what we're gonna say happened... This thing managed to bite really well around your like leg here on your upper thigh and yeah. just gets its yeah. chompers there. Uh, yeah. It buckles into your armor in a way that the little pincer bits get stuck and hooked into it. Like, it can't even ungrapple if it wanted to. You are so stuck. 
Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I needed that today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Sorry about that. Um, that's, that's fine. It's okay. Uh, this guy is gonna crawl out of his hole and do the thing that I'm known for. Huh? What? Oh no, that's what those are. And then this one here, uh, well, I mean, what's all happened to him? There was a blue blur. It was very quick. Um, the other guy got shot. He's probably gonna go to the shiny thing on the ground. Um. Oh, that's what I wanted! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so here, here comes its attack. What the? Uh, f- <laughs> <laughs> hey, yep. So I said I got a um, the sound burst ready. Yep. Was this uh, what it was for? Uh, in case of them basically attacking. So um, when I see this thing run in, if it's okay with you, I'd like to loose that sound burst. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> See, we should have the macros, so let me find it. Yes, it should work. It is a second level spell. Sound burst, so let me mark this as being cast. Okay. And here we go. Alrighty. So basically, um, I am going to cast it at this guy, and it basically does like a 10-foot radius spread. Okay. Um, every creature in the area takes three points of sonic damage and to succeed on a fortitude save, or it is stunned for that round. Well, since it's an effect, I'll go ahead and take the three. So I'm trying, to int- I'm trying to basically stun it before it has chance to bite down on my buddy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh, future note, from now on I'm gonna do movements of all things first and then attacks, just to be fair. Um, but, uh, that being said, they've taken their threes, um, it's a 10-foot radius, so I think does, that would also hit Shagget, wouldn't it? Um, so, um, <laughs> it is, let's see, where is it, yeah, you blast an area <laughs> with a tremendous company, um, it's every creature in the area, yes. Okay. Uh, why did it cast it twice? I don't know. Um, you might have, did you click it twice? Yeah, maybe. So it's not gonna it's not gonna reach friend, but it will hit Shagget, and it's also going to uh, yeah, shake that's fine. the dead body of rid of this. Um. <laughs> yeah. So I guess go with the first one, mm-hmm. or the second one, whichever one you want to go with. I uh, guess I'll, it, I'll the only the first one because it's okay. the one that went first. Oh. Woo. Kondo says, "Yeah, you're not stunned, Kondo. Yeah, you're not stunned. Yay! Just take the three. Just, um, just take oh, yeah. three points of ble- ear damage. It's really fun. Yay! Ear I ear love ear damage. ear damage. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you love ear damage so much. So, so Glim is basically Kia. Just fireball everything. Friends, well, foes. The way I see it, my, my little tiny bit of sonic damage is nothing compared to what they're going to do to you if they get Very true. <laughs> I still am getting Jane vibes. Oh yeah, no, it did twice, so it's the four damage, isn't it? Oops. Oh, if you're doing the first one. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. So four damage. I fixed the damage done. Um, okay. Fail, you horrible creatures. Fail, fail. Uh, the first one did fail. I'm doing it in order of left to right. The second oh, I don't one... think we're seeing them. Oh, yeah, no, I, sorry, I rolled it in person because I have a little guy here. Um, which I shouldn't do. I should, I should put it out big. But uh, I already rolled this one, so I'm going to go with it. It was 11 plus their saves. 6, and it was um, save throw 15. So yeah, that one's going to pass. So this one, the one that bit, you're grappled by it. Its face is stuck to you, but it's also stunned. Uh, I'll give him a little stun, stunner roomy. Stunner roomy. Uh, I like that guy. He's the only one. Okay. Uh, so that boy's stunned. Good job. Uh, it didn't stun the other guy before he could attack, though. So he's going to be able to. And he did hit with his attack roll. <laughs> so, that sucks. <laughs> uh, where's, 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 where's
plus five. Two D six plus five. There we go. Hey, only nine this time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Getting a little bit chomped. And you have your damage reduction on that, right? Yes, I'm doing it. Cool. Uh, that being said, that's all they do this turn. It is up now to Erigus, the angry boy with his bow. He's gonna shoot. First arrow flies, that's gonna hit. Second one as well. Also, also gonna hit. Okay, so that's two hits. I'm just gonna combine the damage. From his longbow here. He's firing two shots at the one whose abdomen is conveniently curled up the wall. Uh, for 24 points of damage. Oof. Those are the right dice, right? No, yeah, I just rolled good. Um, yeah, so uh, this guy uh, manages to plug the abdomen uh, against the wall. Basically, um, as you've been pincered, Shagget, by the by the jaw, the abdomen, which is curled up the wall, has been pinned with two arrows <laughs> to the wall of the cliff. Um, <laughs> So we're we're all like human centipeded together. Now. Yeah, yeah, you're anchored oh. very well. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say, come on, we're both stuck. But I'm over here. <laughs> I'm you're not part human, of your you're fine. And the thing struggles for just a moment, uh, stunned, confused, dazed, and now dead. Um, so yeah, that's that's where that went. I'm still stuck though, right? You're still, like, yeah, you're still you're still like stuck in rigor mortis in the jaw. Like it can't do anything. Its teeth got stuck. Okay, okay. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> unless you take a turn to unstuck. Um, Vendetta, you are up. Okay. Um, so is the the cliff right here? Is it still ten feet up? Yep. If you were to go up there, you'd be ten feet above your prey. All right. If I make it here, am I allowed to still do a full attack, or is that too much? Um, it's a twenty foot. That'd be like a move, and then you have your attack action, right? Right, but I have, I have. Hmm. I still need to take out my weapons. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm going to spend a key point and use ghost step okay. to become invisible. And as I'm going, I am going to take out my weapons. Okay. Mm. I just want to come right here and just kind of yep. you are prepare myself. Primed and ready to strike. Okay. Next, Kondo. I am not going to try to get these mandibles off of me, considering I'm also engaged with this other one to my right. Okay. So, <laughs> I knew Vendetta was over here. Yep. And now she's no longer there, but I kind of know that she's around. And you know, you've unless... seen her do this kind of thing before, so... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to use my minor... I'm going to use my swift action to change my minor aura to Master of Tactics. When basically what I'm going to say is, as I accidentally click out to another tab on my window <laughs> out of the game, which I didn't mean to do, I'm going to say... Vendetta, if, if you're here, just stab her in the back. You know, stab her in the back. Stab it in the back, not her. I mean, well, it could be her, but just do it. You'll hurt it. Please do it. I'm stuck. And... <laughs> Nothing more inspiring. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a great marshal of um, inspiration. Yeah. And then I'm going to kind of turn as much as I can with one of my legs still kind of stuck and do an attack. I'm going to try to punch this thing in the face with my awesome. that's, with my attack. So. Okay. Um, I, he, there's no flank because Vendetta's not in position quite yet, right? Like, no. not threatening. Yet, I'm no, 10 right. feet above it, so. It's a potential oh. threat. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. It's a solid punch to the punch to the face. And I'm going to punch it for a beautiful four damage. Beautiful four. Uh, much <laughs> prettier than the usual four. Um, yeah, because, yeah. you know, my, my character's not meant to deal damage, it's meant to buff and shield. But, yeah, okay. Yeah, this thing 
takes its jaws out of you and looks at you kind of in a menacing way and you're just like, yeah! <laughs> and knocks some teeth out of it. All right. It doesn't have teeth. It has mandibles, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I punched a mandible. Yeah, and it did the little Gently. wiggle thing in slow motion. You're all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next is Cass. All right. She is going to... Do I have to reload? How does that work? Yeah. Um, so this is not Warcraft. Um... <laughs> no, I know. Reload, but like, is I don't part of, know. reload is part of your attack. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's no, a, I know a you good question. Just, I mean, we played Warhammer like a, for so long, I would have thought this is, this is so like, much easier. Yeah. This is so much easier. You just shoot. <laughs> okay, well, then I'm going to shoot. Okay. Do it. Do it. Yeah, you have a clear line uh, of sight up in your, in your tree spot, so go for it. Uh, it's just barely a miss as the arrow goes phew, right past this little wiggly part. Hey. Um, then. No, no, don't get up. Friend is gonna like. <laughs> 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 right. Yes, you're cute. <laughs> um, and it has been a minute for me as well. If you don't take a move action, you can substitute for the rest of your attack action or no? I mean, you can't get more than your regular attacks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't, like, have double attacks if you don't move, no. Okay, yep. No, um, friend is gonna attack. <laughs> okay. Friend's moving in? Yeah. It's mostly move it or lose it in 3.5. Yeah. Are <laughs> well, we getting yeah. down? No, um, no, let me stop. I don't have going. any macros for friend yet, so I just have to, like, look up what I do. Uh, yeah. Think... It's gonna be badger stats. I think it's a plus four to hit. With one d two minus one for damage, is that right? Or is that that's just claw? It has bite too. It has bite. That's as a well. full attack. I don't know what I can do with that. Sorry. Yeah, hold on. Let me um let me open a new for browser God, window and look it up because that's a lot faster than finding it in the book right now. Yep. I pulled it up. I was trying to. Okay. Um, I think you're. Yeah. Well, Does it get a bite and a claw as a full like, attack yeah. or? Full attack says two claws and a bite. Then it wow. gets to do all then three. It gets, yeah, it gets all three. Okay, then I'm gonna do that. Hey, yeah, go for it. Four claws, five plus four. I have to update uh, friend's character sheet. I started doing. Get that right. One d twenty plus four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one second. Um, that's going to miss. So the first claw misses as he dives by. Uh, the second claw strikes its its mark as it, uh... I'm gonna pop this out real quick so I can keep it over here. Um, yeah, so the second claw will find its mark. Okay. Should I go ahead and roll damage, or do you want me to roll the third bite? Um... Is it 1d2 minus 1 damage? Yeah, minus one. Or, so it's 1 yeah. then. Because it's gonna okay, need to do 1. Go. Yeah, so it's gonna okay. do 1 damage. Yep, cool. so the second claw manages to put a little nick in the uh, outer surface of this thing. Uh, and then it okay. gets its bite, right? Yeah, and that's a minus one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that one's also a miss. Cool. That's what he does. Okay. Good job, friend. Got a, got a point of damage in. Sometimes that's the one that matters. Okay, uh, Glim, you are up. Uh, Glim. Glim is looking very conflicted because Glim knows what he wants to do, but he knows it's socially unacceptable for Glim to do it. So he's like, no. <laughs> and instead, Glim is gonna dump a searing light on this top one. Okay. Um. Which is... Well, it's gonna be a lot of dice rolled. It's gonna be fun. This is gonna be Everybody. good. I'm excited. Where is it? Yeah, he's uh, gonna hit too. The the two hit and all the damage is in the map is in the spell. Yeah. So. Can't wait. All right, let me go ahead and uh, mark that I've cast it. Woo! Woo! It's pretty. pretty dice. Um, okay, it will hit uh, an 18. It will hit. Um, then it will do 14 points of. So basically what happens is a column of kind of 
strange purple lightning is going to drop down on this thing. Um, and it'll have like little flowing... When it hits, there'll be like a, almost like a little mini cloud of purple smoke that rolls out from the impact point. Um, ah, but Pilorian, yeah, it will do yes. 14 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> ah, good old Pilor, you know? <laughs> Doing his... Completely natural, non-corrupt, purple, yes. smoke, lightning. See Glim? See chat? Glim is a good He's guy. He's a good guy. He didn't yeah, even he reanimate any things. dead things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Glim seriously considering being nice to the ranger and giving him his brother back. But <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> but, um, but he knows that that's probably going to upset the ranger, even though he doesn't really understand why he'd be so upset. I didn't even think about the fact that Glim is like that, and that's what he meant by not socially acceptable. I was like, don't know, like, Glim's viewpoint is very different than most people's. Yeah. You know, the trauma. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, now that this bug is out of huh, what mode, um, again, the most obvious thing for it is it's going to crawl down and attack the shiny boy. I, yeah, that's I, shiny. I can't justify a reason. It's not going to try and kill you, Shaggy. It's all good, invisible, man. so. <laughs> I just am surprised you keep playing. Way, way back. Okay, it misses. <laughs> <laughs> So this one comes down, you hear the stones kind of crumbling behind it, and you go, oh yeah, and then put your shield up just in time to deflect the mandibles. It would have hit like a truck, but you're familiar with this truck. It's the truck that brings pain every morning at 8 o'clock when the shipment arrives. How, bad, how, bad, how badly is Kondo looking from where I'm standing? Uh, surprisingly, he's still kind of pretty healthy. Okay, so I'm not seeing pools of blood appear out. No, 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 no. It doesn't look so dire or anything. No, it's pulling I mean, inside his armor. Yeah. His, leg, <laughs> his leg is just kind of like... only internal. I yeah. don't care. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, maybe <laughs> he coughed up a little blood, but it's not poor. You know, it's just like... <laughs> his leg is on backwards. tiny stream, not his nose. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. His leg is on backwards, but he's fine. He's <laughs> 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 <It's> also. <sighs> Okay, uh, that being said, that puts us up to the next uh, guy. Uh, that is this guy, Mr. Archer Boy. I'm gonna go ahead and roll his attacks. Like, this way, because it's more fun for everybody to see. Here he's just gonna, like, kill everything, and we're just gonna be like, well... We well, I mean, this. he's good at one particular thing, and that's firing his longbow. <laughs> I mean, this is his brother. <laughs> and he's really a little... Yeah, he's a little mad, you know? You ever had a brother who was not alive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's gonna hit. As the ranger he is for nine points of damage. Uh, he's shooting the one that just came down because it's kind of in the same spot. And he didn't have to adjust. Like, yeah, he's mad, but he's still a little lazy. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the thing takes another shot. The arrow does a very similar uh, pattern as uh, Kondo will see the arrow just right through its abdomen. Uh, it's not pinning it or anything, but like, you know. <laughs> Brings us back to Vendetta. Alright. Stick with me, guys. So, since that only lasts for one round, she is now visible. As she pops into view, mm -hmm. uh, Vendetta is going to give out a big hiss and she's gonna leap down at this thing mm -hmm. the 10 feet yep. uh, and strike at it with uh, her first the uh, meteoric knife okay uh, you do have flanking now yep this is a flanking yes. attack uh, I don't remember if activating this weapon. I just thought about that. If that was a an action, what kind of action that was? Um, Meteoric. I think it's a free I can't action. Yeah, I imagine it's yeah, free. Yeah, activating it would okay. be a free action. So I'm gonna expend um, all three charges. Okay. Ooh. Damn. Angry, angry kitty. 
Clickety! It's biting down Planking, on his shiny, yes. distracting object, so... <laughs> Ooh! Nice That's hit. a hell of a hit, yeah. Alright, so... This... Damage. <laughs> You're using all three points! Yes! <laughs> So it does an extra Sorry. 3d6 points of fire damage. Adjacent creatures. <laughs> you guys all are jane, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> Just AOE everybody! <laughs> oh, God, we read it! Um, and then also, which I probably should have mentioned this before uh, we started, but I also have a piercer cloak equipped. Okay. And what that does is it allows me to make devastating attacks when positioned above my enemy. Well, this would count. So, uh, I do an extra 1d6 points of damage. If you charge your enemy from at least 10 feet above, the extra damage increases to 2d6. So, yeah, that, that all counts to it then, yeah. Dang. Yeah. Um, so that first hit, right? Uh, boot, bop, flaming, returning, uh, hits a creature, normal damage, an extra 3d6. So the 3d6 there was the extra damage on top of the 5. So it's Well, with that 5 is 8, because I my aura. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> um, 8. Oh, yeah. <laughs> plus 8, that's 16. We're doing a little bit of math today. That's 30... Um, uh, yeah, no, he's dead. Um, <laughs> I didn't even have to flaming. use my second attack. <laughs> and the flaming is another 1d6, right? Because like, flaming is an, is an additional 1d6 points of fire damage on its own. Yeah, so um, he is very dead and also on fire. And Shagget, you're an adjacent creature. Yeah. And oh, so oh you flamed. get to actually make a save, though. Yeah, you oh. can save. Oh, the thanks! I'm in plate <laughs> armor, Casey! <laughs> yeah, you get to make a reflex save. Uh, 14. For half. You, got, you got this. See? Okay, see? Jesus. So you only take half. Yeah. <laughs> tis, tis but a scratch. Um, what about uh, what about friendly too? Yeah, and that's my issue here, is um I'm not going to allow an animal companion to be killed by another player's <laughs> inability to recognize that the damage yeah, absolutely uh, would have killed friend just now. half of the damage would kill friend. Yep. So we're just gonna say that friend, <laughs> um... Saw it coming? <laughs> saw it coming <laughs> and used reflex. an inspired GM given 100% going to happen again if this ever happens again, but not that I'm not telling you that. Don't do this ever again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, friend it's, is uh, you, you fine. Get, it, get out of jail free. Friend card, is it's okay. The first time you used it and probably didn't realize that it was gonna hit everything. <laughs> um, because that would have absolutely killed friend 100%. Oh my god, I would have felt so bad. Now. Yeah. I could, <laughs> hey, um, it's okay. Got shot. If you kill friend, we can take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and you would have had all of the people. Fish See, we're not doing that in okay episode that. two. <laughs> <laughs> Cassia would actually probably be cool with it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, no, Cassia would probably be sure. Good, yeah. yeah, sure. The only thing is, like, her thing with it is, like, it's wasted meat because, like, she's a forest person. Like, she lives oh, yeah. in the forest, so she eats meat. And so I was like, well, if you bring it back, it's not. You can't eat it. But, like, for her friend, she'd be like, yeah, bring him back. Cool. Dead thing walking around. Cool. Yeah. So we're just gonna we're just gonna damage. use some, I gotta remember some that. magic. I need a note. <laughs> we're gonna use some magic here and say the the outer bone plates of this thing deflected the fire or whatever, and friend managed to be underneath it friend, enough to yeah, not friend take hid the underneath the carcass, <laughs> which is now on I'm fire. Sorry, so friend. friend has moved. Hey, Satch, can I be underneath no, the carcass friend. too? <laughs> no, you're in front of the carcass, Shagget. No, no <laughs> you're stuck I'm there. Good. You can't move. I'm you're trying. <laughs> Um, yeah, and uh, again, this will never be extended again. Be careful next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
because I was thinking Ooh. like Shaggy, Shaggy will be able to like he, he can yeah, deal with it. I and forgot friend about is like friend. brown and the ground is brown and you know <laughs> animal companions, especially small animals, are not yep. very hardy. <laughs> Seeing all of that, yeah, Glim's gonna be sitting there and he goes, "Oh wait, you're kidding. She didn't just do what I think she did, did she?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so the thing's dead. I haven't marked it yet because um, there's so many other developments so fast. Casey, you really are playing a cat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. I would have felt bad. Vendetta would have just been like, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that'll, that'll be that um, for, for Vendetta's turn. Kondo, you are up. Well, a little singed. Um... Uh-huh. I'm going to pivot, pivot. Um, <laughs> there's, there's something. I mean, I can really change at this point. I don't, I don't really have any option to do anything else. So I'm just going to turn to this little lovely guy who got steering by Dick, and I'm going to try to punch him in the face. Yeah, I like when you do that. That's an exciting. And time. I'm going to miss because I'm still on fire. Um, you drop your <laughs> fist and spend the remainder of your turn picking it back up. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, makes, makes sense. sense yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for that. That's your second one of tonight. I know. Oh I know. god. The game's trying to kill me. It's all good. Trying to kill you. Alright, uh, Cass. Nothing yeah, happened. You're game. you're up. <laughs> Alright then. Um, I'm gonna shoot at the other one now, I guess. Okay. Uh, I have some. Uh, Attack. Did I hit him finally? No. No. <laughs> Look, no. she's. This is not old debt. She has a much higher oh. chance of hitting, so we're not gonna hit anything ever. Yeah, no, that's that's kind of the thing. That's, that's exactly how this is gonna yeah. work. <laughs> yeah, you're good at clutch rolls that you shouldn't have. Um, yeah, yeah Aaron Jesus is just a little upset with you today. I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so then friend is gonna go attack it because nothing, nothing happened the last time, and you know. Well, I mean, even if something did, I don't think. He would care. He'd yeah, no. Friend just... is friend is fierce. Friend is mad. One of the, one of the things on the badger sheet, because that's what we're going with, is that like when they get hurt, they go into a like killing rage. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So like, I have a barbarian badger fisher get. So yeah. he's gonna go attack. <laughs> barbarian pet. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> uh, and and dives do. underneath the jaw and pops back up to take a couple of claws at it. Go for it. 14's gonna miss. Oops. <laughs> yeah, seven's gonna miss a little worse. We're, we're hanging out uh, for a bite. What do we got? Okay. We got this. Oh. We got this. Um, okay. So effectively, <laughs> the Fisher Cat has been dead for a round. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like that's punishment enough. <laughs> yeah, that's, we'll go with that. Okay. Um, Glim, you are up. Um, question, Kondo. Do we still have the extra five foot movement, or is that no longer in effect? You that's no down? longer in effect. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, that's fine. Because um, I got a five foot touch, so. Okay. Fireball my ass, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just throw a spell directly at him. We're past this point. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna so I was gonna do something else, but I think you've got the fighting part down. Um. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to. Okay. Um, Glim is going to staying low to the ground, scurry forth, um, crouch in behind Kondo, mm -hmm. um, and go. I hope you win. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, I bet a lot of money on it. And let's see. Do I? I've got one. One of these. Okay. Yeah. 
fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and you hear him whisper underneath his spirits aid me i have journey to help me staunch these wounds and then um you feel glim kind of like reach out and place his hand on your back um and it is going to heal you for 11 points of damage however it hurts because when glim heals the wounds kind of cauterize and close (laughs) (laughs) oh it doesn't do damage but it doesn't feel good on fire again (laughs) It's like your parts are being put back together. Work through the pain. Work through the pain. Work through the pain. <laughs> I just gotta yeah. tense up. Yeah. It's like you you have to take a little bit of a little bit of pain to alleviate long term pain. Yeah. yeah. It's like a shot. It's like a shot. Yeah. Think of it as a shot. It hurts going in, but then once once the medicine's working, it's better for you. Yeah. <laughs> Growth hormones, uh, but like stay the same size hormones. You know, just okay. clearly a good cleric, see? Yeah, very good. Everything I've done has been nice. <laughs> okay. I can't uh, really say that for everybody, though. <laughs> that being said, uh, it's going to try and undo whatever you just did. And it's not gonna, because he's covered in a lot of metal. Um, yeah, the mandibles just keep deflecting off of you there, Kondo. He can't, he can't get a grip on you. I already have a grip on me. <laughs> Not, no, the other one has a grip on you. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. I got you. Right, um, cool. uh, Cass, give me a, uh, a give me give me a quick uh, which which is the best thing for this? Oh, let me pull up a character sheet and just take a quick look at the skills because I know they're called different things. I know what I want, but like, it's just it's spot in this. Yeah, it's spot. All right. Give me a spot check. Hey, you don't notice it. Okay. He also doesn't notice it. Not until a bit later, but um, quite there. suddenly and with no real warning because you weren't able to discern the warning, um, behind... <gasps> Aragus is now right. another one of these bug things burrowing out of the ground, cutting its way up and uh, hissing and Ooh. chittering. Um, it is directly behind him and it's going to basically get a back attack in on him. Mm. Once I get on the right layer. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's going to try and bite him. It's going to try and bite him right in half if it can. New pet, Cass! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's luckily just barely a miss as he turns to see this thing and just instinctively pulls himself away. For dinner. Okay. Uh, given that, it is his turn. Uh, he's going to continue to just kind of slink back a little bit. Uh, you, you all hear him shouting and hollering something in Elvish uh, as he looses an arrow at the one that's now directly in front of him. I was really hoping that thing would just kill him off, but... Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he can't do the other thing once he's moved, so that is all for him. Vendetta. You okay, successfully um... killed everything. What will you do now? <laughs> There's still one over there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn toward it, and I am going to throw my demon shuriken. Okay. Right off my back. And because it has the crystal on it, I don't have yeah, to... Yeah, you don't have to spend the turn to Demo take it off. Yes. Yep. This all put together very quickly and very nicely. That is exactly a hit. So go ahead Excellent. and damage the thing. Nicely. Excellent. All right. So you slap him for six points. Oh, does it have your your aura for that? It's not. Oh no, we're not flying. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna call it back. Okay. Shoots right back to your hand. It's almost like it never left. It doesn't have much to talk about. It wasn't a very long visit. Kondo, <laughs> you are up. Uh. 
hearing the cries behind me, but seeing this thing in front of me. Um, I guess I'm gonna use my turn getting free of the mandibles that are of the dead tank. Okay. Try um, to wrench them off, you know? Yeah, you just put your one shield up and hold it up in front of you while you try and pry it off. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me a strength check, and you, you don't have to beat much. The thing's been dead a minute. Yeah, that's fine. 19. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, you, you basically snap off the mandible that's been clenched to you. You still got one hanging there, like, it's, like, attached, but, like, you know, it's 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 off. Okay. Uh, free! 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 Oh, still still threat. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. That's it. Okay. Cass, you are up. Alright. So, I get a bonus to creatures within 30 feet. So I get a plus one to hit this guy underneath me, right? Yeah. Okay. That's fair. You've also got a great vantage point on him, and you're... Do I just quickly like, put a one in additional attack bonus, I guess? Yep. Whew! Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna hit. Twenty-four? Holy crap! Yeah, that's that's really gonna very all. Also, yes, hit. And I get plus four damage? Yep, on whatever your damage roll is, you get an additional four. Because this is a magical beast. And that's your specialty. You plug him for eleven. Yep. Good shot. And then friend is going to attack again. Okay. Because that's what he does. That's all he does, man. It's just he's always in attack mode. He's the one aggressive (laughs) friend. He is always a honey badger. You know that really small friend in your group (laughs) (laughs) who's always attacking everybody? That's him. That's him. Hey, that's a hit. Hey, that's one point of damage. Okay. Uh He will take it. This is the one I want to hit, though. Yeah, it's a miss. Yep. He bites his best, but he's just not, you know, he's snipping at the air. Uh, Glim, you are back up. Okay, um, quick question. How badly does this thing look hurt? Um, on a scale of out of approximately 30 HP, he has 7. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Um, yeah, he's, he's reduced yeah. quite a bit. Okay, Glim is going to leap he's gonna leap forward past um kondo with okay. his hands outstretched and he is gonna try to grab this thing by the throat oh excellent Go for uh, he's, making a, he's basically making a melee touch attack okay um and i, I approve yeah i kind of I love that <laughs> a little gnome grabbing a giant magical beast yes his palms are sweaty <laughs> yeah I got my one liner all lined up. <laughs> I, I will be very surprised um, if this misses. Let's see. It's a very and big one. I'm <laughs> going to burn that to do it. I've already used searing lights, so I'm going to have to burn. God, it pains me to do it, but I'm going to have to. Um, as soon as I know I'm coming up now. Why won't you populate? You won't let me put my mark in there for some reason. No, it will. Okay. I'll figure that out in a minute. Alrighty. Um... That's Glim. There we go. Oh! Oh, uh, I mean, so he will it's hit, horrendous. Uh, Sixteen. That's no, exactly. That's, that's plenty to hit, but um. And he does eight points of damage. Three <laughs> ones on three d eight. That's that's why I'm so mad. He's um, just doing enough. He's a minimalist. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, you, you calculated. You looked at him. Enough. Yeah, you're, you're back there and you're like, eh, that looks like seven points worth of damage. I'll get as close as I can. I don't want to <laughs> put in any extra work. <laughs> okay, yeah, he jumps hold of the thing and grabs hold of it by the throat and just starts to strangle it um, and says, Die, you disgusting bug! 
and he's trying to throttle it. Um, yeah, uh, so as you do so, a bizarre aura surrounds you, um, almost a purple glow, as you will, uh, <laughs> around your hands as you squish the life out of this big bug, um, as you would any small bug. And, uh, you manage to just hear a little bit of a in it as the head seems to have become detached from the body and the whole thing becomes a wriggling mess of twitchy limbs and what you would recognize as a pretty dead bug yeah, um, Glim being so small he's probably where he's like struggling so hard and yeah. twisting his body he's probably fallen to the floor at this point and is just laying in amongst it still yeah. trying <laughs> to throttle it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If anybody turns to look at Vendetta, she's just kind of got one lip kind of like curled up with her whiskers, and she's just kind of like. Disturbing <laughs> on a whole new level. She just watched him just basically decapitate a bug with his bare hand. <laughs> Do not piss off the little guy. The little guy is mad. Um... To protect. He knows that if Kondo dies, he doesn't have anything to hide behind anymore. <laughs> could reanimate him. <laughs> he doesn't have as funny of a thing to hide behind anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, that being said, it is now this little buggy boy's turn. He's going to scramble forward. Uh, he has a body. It's no longer in the hole, but I'm not going to pull up a whole new Ankeg just to do this. <laughs> um... <laughs> I just picture he burrows back down and pops back up. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's how it is in my head. And he's gonna he's gonna lash out with his drop, and gets a good grip on the guy. Yeah, I just I wrote it down in like a really easy spot to see, and I still don't see it. Oh, chat may not be able to see. The fight that's going oh, on right yeah, now. Because we're because there's a giant die yeah. on top of it, yeah. That's you have to kind of scroll point. the map up a little bit, I think. It's a there small window. Everything okay. over here is dead. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it moves around a little bit. Um, for nine, so he's actually able to take that. Uh, that being said, uh, he now has to attempt a grapple against this guy. This guy's good at grappling. He's like better at grappling than anything else. Once he has the hit. So this is, a, that's his check. <laughs> and that's what he got. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Um, these things, uh, they, they, they just happen sometimes. The bug begins to drag him backwards towards where the hole was and pulls him kind of into it to the point where you've got the head of this monstrosity just sticking out trying to yank this guy all the way down into this hole. Um, he's going to use his turn to try and kick the thing off because uh, that's all he's got, really. Uh, kicking and screaming, uh, that's, that's not gonna, that's not gonna, that can't beat this. Okay, um, yeah, Vendetta, you're up. <laughs> Um, how loud are they being over there? Very. Uh, he is screaming. <laughs> and the other thing is hissing and chittering and being... Hey, I'm the only thing that gets to hiss here. Uh, have, you ever, true. have you ever opened, like, a like a shed that's full of tarantulas? Oh, yeah. And then, like, it's just like... <laughs> no, it's just, like, yeah. It's just, like, no, all the time. Open it and they're just like... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. No, no, I haven't. Huh. <laughs> no, nor do I have any desire to know what that sounds like. It's very okay, loud. I am going to uh, slap the shuriken back onto my back and down on all fours, rush over here okay. to try to grab a hold of him and try to pull him away from this hole. Okay, I'll say you run up and you got your hands on him. Yep. Okay. That means condo. Oh, He's in luck, condo. me with my 10 strength. <laughs> you can do whatever you'd like. Yeah, but what I want to do has a lot of parameters that probably mean it's not going to work, but Kondo's not very smart. Mm. Kondo's I want, not... Yeah. I want to do a special maneuver where I basically bull rush this thing. Okay. Um, It will have bonuses because it has more than two legs. <laughs> it's already... I know it's strong, so this is... 
futile, but it's also grappling with what's his face, right? Mm -hmm. Could I get a charge attack in successfully with this thing grappled, or would it tear the thing's leg off? Like I can get there. Yeah. Um, but if I successfully is hit, is yeah. it grappling with its mandibles? Yes. Like if I crash into its side with my shields. I mean, whatever damage you're gonna do by whirling him around is probably less than the damage he's continually sustaining by being continually clamped I, I know. mandibles. Well, I mean, but it's also strong, so the the odds of this charge attack actually hurting him is low. Right. Um, but if I'm successful, it'll push it back. See, that's the thing that I'm. Yeah. Like how the physics of that would work. If it's grappled with something, but I hit it and it gets pushed. Would um, it, throw it, it in the set. Hey, if it takes off take, his leg, um, Lynn can just cauterize it. It's fine. Um, so I'll put this how reasonably I think it would be fair to say if you're being thrown while grappling something, you'd have to challenge to hold on to it, right? Otherwise, it'll slip out of your grip. He's okay, because the other, the other pincers but, yeah. grips. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do. Uh, one of my only maneuvers uh, available to me um, called the Charging Minotaur. And there it is, and it's all its beauty. I rolled a seven on my street check, so I'm not hurting this thing because it's going to succeed. Uh, but I'm going to be like, I'm coming! I'm going to save you! And it's, <laughs> obviously I'm very shaky because I'm hurt still and it's not very convincing to charge. It's okay. Um, He's got like a hundred, like, 60 pound cat at his back going, I will help you trying to pull <laughs> Right, so I'm going to attempt with a, my beautiful seven strength check to um, hurt him. He gets a plus four because he has more than two legs. <laughs> <laughs> so <Wow. laughs> I don't think this is ever going to work even if he rolled a one. But please, that should indulge me. <laughs> um, you know, you said please. Uh... <laughs> I, I'd like to throw in there that you are also a size category smaller than him. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Well, there you go. <laughs> 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 that's just a tad more of a minus then. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so that would so be that's a five, yeah. yeah. Oh, How is likely it... is it that he's just going to hit him on the side and just fall back down? <laughs> well, yeah, so I rolled a three <laughs> on my strength it. check. Because, and what is he to roll against it? Uh, his strength check right? plus four. Yeah. Yes, yeah, his strength plus four. And he gets I, a strength roll plus four to try to beat a three. Hmm. To try to beat a three. Yes, yes, yes. I just, I just. Well, I'm gonna yes. entertain it because he said please. Okay, thank you. So there's a chance. Um, no, there isn't. No, that's a twenty-four. Um. <laughs> so I basically just bop it. You know, like I don't hurt it or anything. I just like, uh, oh, but I'm here. Right. Yeah. Um, with my shield in front of me. Yeah, uh, so you're there with your shield in front of it, um, and you did bop it. Um, it didn't hurt or anything, but like you did bop it. There was contact of steel to, to exoskeleton. Oh, so I did my job. <laughs> if that was your job, then yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, right. Yeah, no, that was wonderfully in character, and I love every minute of it. Um, <laughs> Cass, you are up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna. Can I shoot it again from this vantage? Uh, yeah, no, you're you're well. I'm above so it. used to negatives from Warhammer. I'm like, no, I can't shoot no, once there everybody is, gets there's in there, no right? problem with this. It's like kind okay. of put itself okay, cool. in a hole at this point. Okay, and like I'm if you miss, you're just gonna hit a shield behind it. So like, <laughs> cool. I would say this is a perfectly fine shot to take. Is it a flank? Um, yeah, no, you've got an enemy directly across from you, or he has an enemy 180 of them, so yeah. And I get a plus one. It's better hit. Come on. Yes! Jesus! What okay. the 31 is that? Okay, yeah, go that ahead. That is me being awesome, <laughs> finally, okay? Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed so many things. Everyone's scrambling all over the place, you're just like, 31 casually, don't mind me, it's okay. Ugh! Plus four. Oh, what are we doing? That was the plus four. <laughs> oh, you added it? Yeah. I okay, okay. So four. seven points of damage. Okay. Um, yeah. 
That's and then you guys will hear a screeching creature rushing this way. <laughs> You can't do anything. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Glim. It's ready. Glim? At this um, point, I will say, with your familiarity with, with the subject, this thing's dead and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Glim it's, is going to is clamber <laughs> over the corpses to the dead ranger. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Glim is like... Checking to see where everybody else is, and he's very happy that everybody else is very, very preoccupied. Okay. And then Glim is going to cast a very long spell. Ooh. Speak with dead. Ooh. Um. <laughs> Which takes ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. It's a ten-minute cast time, so he is sitting there. Just concentrating. We're all over here grappling with a bug. And focusing, yeah. <laughs> He's over there talking to a dead body. Got it. Yep. Okay. Yep. He's going to get around to it eventually. I just imagine the 10 minutes are him just going, Come on, buddy. Don't you have anything to say? I know you do. Yeah, just 10 probably, minutes of that. <laughs> Glim is probably like stroking the dead thing's head and saying, I know you're in there. Oh. Come to the surface. Oh. Come and talk to Glam. <laughs> Glam wow. has questions for you. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> I totally want to have a conversation with Glam at that point. <laughs> uh, I see a staying dead if this ever happens to her. Yeah. So I. Oh. I dropped a physical die, and I promise you, I just rolled a one. Um. So, given all of the things that have happened to it, the bug is going to let go of, of Arius and just go into the hole. Um, oh, you do we get an attack of opportunity? Seeing as, uh, yeah, uh, there's everyone around it. Uh, Stop if it, you're within Stop range it for it, you can take your attack of opportunity, yeah. All right, I punch it in the mandible. <laughs> oh, oh Ooh, you, yeah. you sure do. <laughs> Seven. It was a parting shot. Okay, so chat can see it. Um, as it's going down in the tunnel, like it lets go of, of Aragus, just like fine, you know, and it's like I'm done. It's ah, la, 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 it starts tunneling back down, and then you're just like, wait a minute, and you just reach down there and you pull. And you grab that mandible and just rip it off, and with it, a lot of internal structures come out. Jesus. <laughs> um, the thing is dead, exactly. No. Wow, Shaggit, that's a Marlowe thing <laughs> right there. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you killed it. The thing is dead. Way to go. Impressed. I'm impressed. Woo! Congratulations. Yay. Uh, that was, that was a combat encounter. Whoa. <laughs> Any fight, fight. Oh. So, so I'm just gonna shout into the hole. That'll teach you not to not to grab my leg. Ow, it still hurts. And I'm just gonna <laughs> sit down heavily right here. See my leg hurts. <laughs> just like kind of you know, caressing my my plate armored leg, you know, mm -hmm. that, with the pain inside. <sighs> it would take a blacksmith all of five minutes to fix that. That's so annoying. <laughs> The leg too. Uh, <laughs> uh, is, is everyone okay? We're all good, right? Uh, uh, Arrogus is gonna... like looking a little like shocked for a second, and then he kind of comes to and sees Glim up there, knowing he's a cleric, is like, "Oh, good," and starts to work his way up in a hasty walk. Okay. Uh, when Glim. <laughs> sees him start to approach. Um, he is not breaking from his spell, but he's going to be sure to slip in some words that kind of sound last right. <laughs> <Just>, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, may, for that. May your mortal body be, may, may your mortal body rest in please. Keep coming. Down, come to um, <laughs> give, give me a deception on that. Uh, a deception. Yeah, um, that's, that's that seems kind of like a deception, wouldn't it? Wouldn't so you, you would want. Um, what do they call it here? 
Uh, yeah, there isn't really a deception as such. Um, uh, uh, that, yeah, I guess a bluff. Bluff uh, makes sense. Bluff would work, yeah. I think that you're a smith. Um, <laughs> Not very good, bluff. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that or diplomacy, but you already rolled. Um, I'm a lot better at diplomacy, but... <laughs> uh, what's your bonus on diplomacy? Because you got uh, it would have made it a 10, that's okay. all. Um, so yeah, I'd say with a, with a 10, 8 to 10, that's an average anybody's go. Uh, he's very distracted right now. You can see him, like, he, he runs up directly to his brother and starts, like, you know, like, cr like cradling his head and just, like, this this can't be happening kind of moment. Um, he's speaking in Elven. I don't know if you do. Uh, Glim speaks Elvish. Okay, then yeah, uh, it's it's exactly no uh, no 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 not you not you not you it can't be you uh it has to be this just can't be happening this can't be uh maybe if I can can we put it back put it back together there's got to be some way there's got to be something I can do I mean, he's freaking out uh, naturally <laughs> yeah. um, Glim you know as I said he's under normal circumstances he might be interested in doing a heal check but he's thinking of getting much more definitive answers okay <laughs> plus i can't because i you can't just break in the middle of a yeah a 10 minute ritual to start doing other stuff so <laughs> all right uh so yeah that's the scene for everyone else catching up uh he's crouched down over his dead brother uh about to start screaming to the heavens and uh yeah Anybody uh, else need a break? I could use a pee. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, we can take a little break. Yeah. Take a break. Seems yeah, reasonable. I can stay. I'm good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I can go last. Okay. Uh, so I I'll top up my dranky, but uh, I can do that. Okay. Second round. So I'm gonna pop out. Uh, nobody else seems to need to pop out, so I'll just uh, hold off on that. Oh, well, then I would have popped out, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole, I'll pop out on the second round thing. But if there is no second yeah. round, i No, out. no, no second round. <laughs> Gore, you could just go, you know. Yeah, yeah, you have, like, yeah. a background. I'll be right back. <laughs> What's up, hey guys? First combat. First combat. And I almost killed somebody. <laughs> it was you on our side. My friend. I would have felt so bad. Cassia probably would have just taken uh, it in stride to let things die. She's probably had animal companions that have died before. I love that Honestly. Casey feels more bad about almost killing a, an animal companion than me. You know? Well, I was <laughs> like, okay, I, I didn't think about the fact that it would affect friendlies as well, but I was like, oh, I think Shagas got this because he can at least do a. A save. I didn't think about the fact that it was a reflex save. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, my then I was like, oh shit, there's something that's like super squishy, like right there. Super uh, squishy. But I, I kind of figured he's gonna die eventually, just because he is squishy. But the type of creature he is is very aggressive. Well, I mean, we may we've managed to keep familiars alive in the other campaigns. <laughs> really aggressive ones. I mean, no, not really aggressive ones. <laughs> uh, I remember. Fun. I'm okay with him dying. Don't worry, guys. Jane's familiar cow got hit while flying through a cave at one point. Like it was a blind sense oh, attack. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Marlo ran up and grabbed him. So yeah. That he wouldn't get hit again. Yeah, Marlo saved his bacon that time. <laughs> yeah, I really thought Cal was done for. Um, so that's okay. probably the closest we've been. I mean. Well, Mr. Hoots died, forever. but like he was ethereal or something. There's a first for everything. Oh no, Jerusha yeah. was a she was a clockwork. So I mean, yeah, Jerusha got banged around a few times, right? She, but never... Yeah, she almost bit it too when we sent her into that crash dirigible. Yeah. Um, I I really hate what they did to familiars in fifth edition, making them ethereal and just recastable. I'm like, no, oh, it should have like consequences, stakes, you know? Yeah, we didn't really care. I think a lot of us. Nope. 
I think of a lot that of might the fear have also is... been because we were all evil bastards, but that too, yeah. I think a lot of people don't utilize familiars just because they can die and they they get really attached to them, so they don't want the risk of it. And so for five e, they probably just mitigated that risk, so people would actually utilize them properly. That'd be my opinion. I mean, I was pretty afraid of Jerusha getting squashed, but I think I used her quite a bit to cast spells and stuff. Mythical Paladin, not really. I'm going to attempt to cook dinner. That's kind of exciting. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> I don't cook, so <laughs> we'll see. Probably need to invest in a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I might go home, I might not. But my birthday's right after Christmas, so I've got plans for my birthday. <gasps> Making bat cupcakes, I'm really excited. Mm. Okay. With bats on them made out of Oreos, because I love bats. Yes, bats are the best. They really are. There's a bat colony um, out here in Houston, Ooh. and we always plan to go see it, and we always forget. It's mm -hmm. like... It's a bat colony that lives under this bridge mm -hmm. that's like, it's not far away. And like every day when the sun starts to go down, they like just come out. I saw the one like a big um, wave in of Austin. Them. I went to Austin and there's a bat colony under one of their bridges too. And I saw that one. That one was pretty cool. Very cool. So any questions about what you s just saw, chat? doing a lot of revealing of the items and stuff that we chose. I had to pull out my sheet because I was like, did I take an item that made it where I did more damage if I was up high? <laughs> I don't have any like exciting exotic holiday plans really other than family stuff. What about you, Paladin? You got anything cool lined up? For me, the holidays just mean less hours coming up. Oh, that, that sucks. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying for my daughter. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, I'm working 50 hours a week, so I'm, I'm okay with less hours. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's, it's so hard to get things ready for this, because, like, I just have Monday and Thursday, and Monday I don't want to do anything, so then, like, today comes around, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, six maps, here we go. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's how I spend my Sundays, typically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh, we're not ready for the, the hours to be cut for retail and everything, um, just because we really need DRC to be at 40 hours every week. Mm hmm um, but he actually has the next three days off because Ooh. they had to shut down the Apple Store because they had a COVID scare. Oof. Oh no. So he is going to get paid, but he doesn't have to work the next three days. Yeah. Uh, where I work, we have one like every other day. We'll get like a text notification. And I'll be like, but don't oh, worry. That... We pay a professional company to come in and clean everything every time because they do. But it's like they they worked out some kind of tax break on it, so mm. major retailer. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, Gordy, did you need to jump out for a sec? Uh, I snuck off while you snuck oh, off because <laughs> when I realized nobody else was going, I was like, "Well, there won't be a round two of people taking breaks, so I just go." <laughs> yeah, 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 that makes sense. All right. All right. Okay, yeah, so we left off. Uh, you were about a minute into chanting your 10 minute chant to wake this guy up and get some, some, some talk with him, you know? Uh, well, Speak With Dead doesn't actually. Um, it kind of like, yeah, it's going to like just, you know, bring the semblance of life into the right, body. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Enough that it's not okay, going to so animate him. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It gives true answers. He's not going to move. So yeah. do we do we know what he's doing or um, we kind of walked up after? I guess I'll leave that one up to Gore. Um, have you has has Gore done this before? So 
maybe you might have seen it once before. Like he wouldn't do it in town, and typically he always asks the he'll ask permission. But quite honestly, he thought that they were going to be preoccupied a lot longer, so he just <laughs> went with it. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, after a few minutes, I think I would start to wonder what is he doing? He's this shouldn't be taking this long. He's just saying a prayer. Know. It's a long prayer. It's a very long prayer. Yeah. Um, yeah, Glim's going to continue, and, and basically he'll be like, if anybody questions him, he's like, I'm finding out what happened. He was killed by bugs. We don't know that. They might have just come along and tried to eat him. I'm going to... Um... You're muted. Of course, a heel check, by the way. <laughs> Not you, now, but... his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll just be like, uh, keep doing it, Glim. Good job. That's perfect. We need answers. Answers are good. <laughs> I'm going to um, look at all the bodies and like try to understand them a bit or see if I could take anything from them that would be useful for me. Um, useful for you is different than useful for most. Um, I know. So... And by useful for <laughs> me, I also mean, like, what's interesting. Um, so for these guys, I'd say it falls into your survival category, and I'll give you your plus four damage bonus, because you specialize Ooh. against magical beasts like these. Um, oh, okay. Seeing you do that, I'm gonna actually hop down and run over there, because I'm waiting. Poison? Do they have venom? That's kind of what I, yeah, was okay. like thinking maybe there <laughs> is. So I do survival, mm -hmm. and then add four to that. Holy, yeah, okay, um... Each of these are going to have one. Um, they have a sack of acid um, that's just behind where their mandibles are that allows them to spew it um, in times where they feel their bite might not be enough. Seeing as you guys cleared them out very quickly, none of them got frustrated enough to use it. Um, but yeah, no, they have a, a caustic acid sack which can be removed from behind their mandible. Um, cool. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to pry some of those off, you absolutely can. It'll just okay. be a careful job because you know. I would I would help her and actually <laughs> yeah, okay. have um, uh, the craft skill in dissection. Poison something. Oh, okay. What, what, poison making. I don't okay. know if that would help. Um, yeah, you're familiar with things like this, so it would help. What what are, what are you guys doing? I'm just gonna like be peering over you all. <laughs> As you, as you perform your actions, feeling utterly useless at this point. I'm like not gonna <laughs> reply. I'm just gonna be uh, talking to Cass, and I'll just be like, "Careful, steady. <laughs> Don't be too rough." And there's like no, a no. little bit of like a ventral valve that, like you know, it'll it'll automatically kind of close with pressure behind it. So like, once you have it off, right, it's a closed, gross liver-looking thing. Um, oh, what, shit. what are you gonna do with that? Are you gonna eat it? I mean, I guess we could eat it. But we do have food supplies. I'm gonna I'm just, kind of grin. I'm gonna lean Would closer, like even more try? awkwardly. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It looks quite raw, but, but you know, you guys are strange folk. You, you go ahead, first bite. You know, get your strength up. Um, I'm gonna take uh, some vials out of my. My kit that I have, I have a poison kit. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna share that with with Cass so that we can collect and yeah, she'll get package some, it. Um, she'll put some of the acid into the vials for you. Are you like fermenting it or something? Like what's going on? <laughs> He's just so confused. Because right. you know there, there's a, there's a sack over there too. I ripped it when I ripped the mandible. You know what's going under? A whole bunch of other stuff came with it. Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe there's something there. We can go check. Let's go check. So yeah, as long yeah. as you can find a way to administer the acid in its full amount, um, it is 44 worth of damage. Oh, interesting. Put it in your mouth and spit it. Yeah. <laughs> Get Kondo to do it. He won't know. Can I, when, when can I see I might try, honestly, if somebody suggested it? It's not that smart. It's not very smart. Um, but yeah, really uh, say, what was the damage, the, Sash? I'm sorry. Uh, 44. Uh, in the full amount. But seeing as you have little vials of it, um, it's 
just going to be a sample of a caustic acid. Okay, I'll just write down what you just said and we'll figure it out later. Okay, okay. Um, how many so, sacks, or, yeah, like, how, how many, many of the full sacks did we get? Um, seeing as one was already removed very artistically in some kind of, uh, <laughs> in some kind of, uh, Dadaist, Expressionist kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, that one's there. That, so, yeah, you'll get one from each of them. So, four total? Yep. If you take the time out, which we're taking the ten minutes to get the Speak with Dead spell up, so it, it, w it would make sense that you'd be able to go around and get these. You rolled a 27. Like, <laughs> Plus four. Plus four. It's a thir yeah, it's a 31. Um, I can't see why you wouldn't be like, oh yeah, it's these guys. You know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so that cool. being said, uh, uh, Aragus is continuing to just kind of cry quietly at this point um, when you have finished your spell and uh, the effect takes its, takes its place. Okay. Um then Glim's first question is going to be, as I said, semi-redundant because he could have probably used a heal chat, but he was like, Were you killed by these strange insect creatures? Uh, you get a... And he's just going to talk to you in Elvish because it's his thing, but... Um, uh, okay. Yep. They came out of the ground. They aren't supposed to be this far south. What do you know about the strange, sticky stuff from the trees? The trees have been diseased. I was looking for the source. The disease seems to be more rampant the further north you go, where the core of the forest is. Okay, Glim is about to ask him a third, probably dumb question. Okay. And then remembering whole polite society etiquette thing um he looks at argus and says is there anything you'd like to let your your brother's spirit know before he goes to the afterlife um Hergus has been just kind of watching this happen just mind blank almost completely unpresent and just looks up to him and just says he would already know anything I would have had to say to him. Okay. Do you mind if I keep your cloak? <laughs> uh, hey, he didn't want a question. I'm going to get something out of it. <laughs> so it. long as you what? use it to achieve my goal. Sure, go to sleep now. And and uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then he looks at Argus and goes, "If you had him, I can have the cloak." And then I'm stuck to take the cloak off. <laughs> oh, and uh, he said, "Yes, these things did kill him. They come out of the ground and ambushed him, but he does know that the problem is worse further north, and he, that's where the source is. So we gotta go north." Um. At which point, Aragus will take a minute to, like, actually, like, un unbuckle his, like, um, he has, like, a little side pouch and starts, like, kind of going through it and pulls things out. Uh, and he, because he doesn't want you doing this. Um, <laughs> and yeah, uh, Glim is clearly struggling to lift the corpse, so he is actually probably somewhat disrespectfully just tugging yeah. at the cloak. No, like at that point, Rid yeah, going, at that point, Aragus is going to start taking off the cloak for you, and like you know, okay. more ceremoniously and more um, tactfully. Uh, okay. And then he's going to pull this out and be like, "Well, here's your guide," and just hand it over to you. Um, it's a does it pop up for you guys when I say show to players? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Just He's sure. handing that to us? Yeah. He, he Well, he hands it over directly to you. Um, to me? Yeah, because you're right there, and, <laughs> you know, he said achieve my goals. So... <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, let me see. Where am I at His in relation to everybody else? to either look for treasure or start a football team. 
<laughs> <laughs> okay. And he goes, um, in that case, um, Glenn will say, Gondo, Cassie, Kitty, come look. Uh, what is it? And he's just <laughs> waving a piece of paper, like, loosely in the air, like. I'm not going to climb that little ten foot, but, you know, I'm just going to look up. Um, so, Gore, the cloak is a cloak of elven kind. Ooh. Um... um yeah. <laughs> about to the ask problem with that. <laughs> the Four problem hours. with that is Glim actually has a magical cloak. Uh -huh. Glim wanted to sell the cloak. <laughs> okay. Well, you're gonna um, have to weigh your options. It's a but, cloak um, kind. So in so uh, <laughs> does Glim know it's a cloak of Elven kind? Um I feel like Glim I mean would. Glim Glim will do detect magic on it in downtime as a cantrip so yeah yeah i'll but. say yeah you'll get it you'll you'll put okay. it together it's also on an elf who was very oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> um well glim is holding up the cloak and looking at the cloak while holding the piece of paper loosely in his hand and when someone goes when someone comes up closer glim is just going to thrust the piece of paper in their direction like take this mm. um Glim is less interested in the piece of paper and more interested in the cloak. Cassie's going to take the paper. Okay. Like, she's very interested in anything that has writing on it that um, she can try to read. Is the can. cloak covered in blood? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay. You hear <laughs> Glim mundling under, under his breath. Mm, I don't have to wash this. <laughs> Um, at which point, Aragus is going to continue to kind of, like, respectfully, like, disrobe him of his belongings and, like, kind of set them to the side. Um, just kind of lining him up over here, and he's just like, You... you are a cleric, right? You, you'll help me bury him. Well, now you see, there are some options here we can talk about. Mm -hmm. Um... We're not Do you miss your brother rules. very, very much? Well, yeah. Well, that's it's kind of a given. Okay, um, <laughs> Glim is looking at... He's looking at Kondo, Cassie, and Vendetta, like, glancing at them as he's having this conversation, looking for any, like, telltale signs of from no, their faces that. or their reactions <laughs> as he has this conversation. He says... Because, you know, in some cases, death is not necessarily the end. Glim. I, I, I mean, um, if you want him buried properly, I suppose we could do that. that, that that's what he would want, yes. Okay, do you have a shovel? We need to dig a big hole now. <laughs> Where would um, you be over here preparing last rites? Uh, I, I have an idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> do you, you um, don't know. Glim will go and sit under the, this uh, tree and keep and nearby. examine his cloak, while routinely saying words like "blessing," "deceased," "watch over the spirit," but very kind of like. Yeah, watch over his spirit. <laughs> you, you, you guys don't want to hear my idea? Well, what is it? You, well, is Vendetta it? said no, so, you, you know. What is it? We, we don't need a shovel. Um, we have a hole. <laughs> Newt, see, that's me. what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> we, we, you know, put him in the hole, cover the hole. Um... <laughs> No digging required. That's something he would have said, yeah. Y sure. You know it's fitting. Um, I'm not too against it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Did you say we're going to just drop him in one of the holes for the creatures? As long as we actually bury him in it, I want to put a bottom at the end of it, yeah. Hey, um, what is it you say? Something about creatures got to eat too? What? Never mind. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to just dig a grave? As long as we make it an actual grave. I mean, the hole is started. 
He's the kind of he's the kind of guy who wouldn't want to cause me any kind of problem, you know. Uh. Um. Okay, you have three to choose from. I'll I'll look them over. Pick a hole, any hole. Cassia would go look at them and try to find one that seemed like more shallow-ish or something that she could. Well, 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 the hole down there has well the rest of the bug in it, so not that one. Yeah, so not that one. <laughs> that one, well, you're near where the patch of grass. Uh, yeah, I think this is nice. best. Okay. With that, um, he's going to get up and wander over here, ready to read the last rites. Oh, um, I guess I'll be helping our elven friend here. Yeah, he's um, just like kicking dirt down to make it more of like an enclosed individual. I'll spot. use my claws to yeah. help him. Like, this looks like a job for me, so everybody, just follow me. <laughs> That jumps into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say, friend can burrow. Yeah, that friend That's can one of also help. Badger yeah. skills is burrow. So, like, you could probably get down there and close so, yeah, off that ending. You guys don't have the right tools, but with the manpower, it's not a big deal. You can kind of convert this into a makeshift grave. Let's take him four feet or so, so his feet like stick out. <laughs> Awful. All right, Glenn says kind of thinking back to what some of the more acceptable religions do. Mm -hmm. He says, um, in the name of the Father, the Son, and into the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Excellent. Um, yeah, with that, uh, he's going to like kind of follow suit, just like, whatever. This is exactly what you'd expect from him. <laughs> And, and put him in the hole, uh, lowering him okay. down gently, and... Glim will try to look pious and say, Oh, spirits, please watch over his soul and the good parts. His mortal coil, his meat and bones are just to be reconsumed and concentrated into the earth to nourish other things. But I suppose try to make him rest well and be really peaceful in the <laughs> afterlife. Um, praise some of them gods that everybody likes. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean. Uh, with with that uh, last right reading, he, Aragus kind of smirks and uh, flips a coin into the grave and then starts kicking dirt. Get the whole buried. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my shovel to kind of like push more in. You, know? okay, yeah, you yeah. have a shovel? You had a oh, shovel. My, my shield. My oh. shield. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, my shield. My bad. My shield. Cassie's closest to Glim, so Glim looks at her and he goes, "I, I don't know what religion he was. He didn't tell me." Timorian. I think I think it was good. <laughs> I think it was good. It sounded good to me. Okay, good. Hmm? Oh, you said it was Timorian. Oh, we all need to throw a coin in. We have to give him luck. Although it seems kind of redundant now. It does seem kind of redundant now. <laughs> um, but Glim's gonna flick a copper piece into the hole. Okay. Yeah, I'll follow. I'll do it too. Cassia will. She'll do what you say. She doesn't understand religions, but she'll As he it. flicks it, he goes, Hope you have better luck in the afterlife. I'm, I'm sure he will. Right. I'm just so, gonna pretend to do that. Yep. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> Wasting he doesn't good need money. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, you guys successfully bury him in the hole. Um, we sure did. Y'all see that? <laughs> yeah, way to go. Hard challenge there. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a rock real quick and just mark the grave with it because that's what you do in a time like this. You just grab a rock. Any rock will do. And you just Bonk. slap it on the hole. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Nicely, nicely, nicely done there. Yeah, a nice rock. good job, guys. You moved a big rock. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, what, what do we do? We go north. Oh. oh, I have this map. It was a map. <laughs> <laughs> it was a map. <laughs> Okay, she's, gonna, uh, she's gonna turn it around to everyone 
and show you guys the map. I, I guess we uh follow the map. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, Can I read maps? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, it's upside you down. You are not smart enough to understand maps. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna like, say it. it. <laughs> ventures into like the naturey like He's survival, survival out there skill. realm. Uh, but if I can't read a map, it's probably upside down. Or it's got ways. scribbles on it and little drawings and things. and I, It's like you can't make the mental link between this piece of paper and the actual world is more the issue. <laughs> That's fine. She'll probably just turn it around upside down then. So looking at the map, you know, over um, Cassia's shoulders, mm -hmm. the first arrow past the bridge, I mean... Where are we on this? I mean, according to Kondo. I mean, yeah, is there a... Because Glim was literally going to ask the question is like, is there a mark on here that says you are here? <laughs> no. Like, we didn't, you, we, see, we, you, we, you can read Elvish? No. Glim can. Okay, so Glim, you can you can just read the map. Yeah, Glim doesn't care, though. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, and, and Glim, Glim will be looking for symbols on the map that he recognizes. The words will come as an afterthought to him, but I mean, he will ultimately read them if, he, if no one understands anything. Okay, um, so all I can really <laughs> give you with that, uh, because that's impressive, um, <laughs> is those... So, just above that like starting point where those two cliffs are, looks kind of like the mouth to the forest that you entered through. Um... And then further up, there's that other cliff that could very well be the cliff you're standing on. If I've ventured into the forest before, would I have? Have we been here that long? Um, I mean, probably knowing who you are and what you do, yeah, you've, you've been around a little bit. So, so if this looks like a river, would I have know? Would I know of a river this area, or like a canyon um, or something? Yes, there is a river gorge north of the north of the town that kind of cuts across in a similar fashion as two drawn on the map. I think I know what this is. Let's go. Okay, okay. Um, First, everyone, limber up and do those high knees again to get the movement, you know? Yeah, okay. Let's um, go. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just going to start painfully lifting my legs because that's the part that really got injured. Up. What sort of time of day is it? Um, You guys have been out for all of, like... It's probably like six hours. Okay. Um, so so it's long. getting like mid afternoon. Yep. It's not not quite a not quite night. I'm just gonna watch Kendo and kind of flick my tail the end of my tail a little. <laughs> probably get like Cassius in. arrowhead ears. <laughs> Cassius in a hundred percent. So I'm I'm going to active I'm gonna activate my motivate dexterity. Uh, bonus on dexterity, dexterity-based skill checks, and initiative checks, mm -hmm. as okay. well as the motivate urgency, so we can all move a little bit more efficiently. Well, Glenn um, will go through the the calisthenics routine. <laughs> that you have done. Yes. Okay. Um, no, while you guys think... are kind of doing this, you'll see Aragus kind of sitting over here with the remainder of his belongings, taking some of it and pocketing it, and then putting kind of the rest out, almost like uh, to like show you what it all is. Um, under the assumption that you are all carrying on his wishes, he would rather it goes to you. Um, and once the calisthenics episode is over, um, <laughs> we'll just address on. So if if there's a little bit of downtime here, then it's probably this is where Glim will probably just cast a tech magic on that cloak just on okay. the off chance. Yeah, so you'll put so together. That's when he can figure out. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. yeah. So it's a, it's a it's most definitely likely to be a cloak of elven kind. Right. Glenn's um, eyes get really really big as he looks at it. You <laughs> see him lay it out on the ground and he starts holding his hands over it and humming and making some strange noises and then his eyes get bigger and he goes, "Oh, oh, oh. Glenn picked well." Um, so the remainder of the items put out. Um, there's a little pouch full of caltrops, uh, a healer's kit. 30 feet of rope, a hunting knife, uh, his, it's a really nice short bow that he's put out, um, a water skin, a tinderbox, a hand axe, a quiver with 16 arrows, and the cloak is already taken. As well as an absurd amount of acorns. 
Yeah, none of those really appeal to me. Is the bow nicer than mine? Um, since you have a really nice bow, um, and I know what kind of bow you have, I'm going to say it's exactly the same statistics-wise. Okay. I'll take the arrows. Okay. Um, that being said, Ergus is going to look at all of you and just be like, I'm... I don't think I'm quite in a place to continue on. I would rather go back to the church and maybe lead some of the clergy here to perform... Not that rites weren't performed, um... To perform some further rites and maybe tell some of the town... I'm going to need a moment to recover from all of this. That um, is understandable. You have lost your ledger mate. <laughs> uh, he goes over here and grabs the last uh, green ribbon and stabs it into the ground by the uh, by the makeshift grave. I'm just going to kind of mumble to myself. I mean, all of my ledger mates were <gasps> scoundrels. Does he have any more green litters, green ribbons? Because if we're going north... Should we, like, stick the ribbons on trees like he was doing? Or is that, like, not a thing? Well, it served its exact purpose in this case. Um, seeing as there are four of you, I... I don't think it'll be necessary. I hope it's not necessary. Well, at least one of us will come back. You said there was a heel <laughs> kit as well? What was that? You said there was a heel kit as well. Yeah, it's um, yeah. yeah Glim has one, there. so he doesn't. He's I'm not gonna take one. This. Okay. Okay. That is fine. Okay. Um, yeah. If you've all taken everything that you wanted out of the pile, he'll take the rest of it and just kind of scoop okay. it up. Argus, I'm sorry about your brother. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Glim. Thanks. And he's gonna just kind of hastily make his way south. Um. And then he's gonna turn, like, at this point, it says an afterthought. Shoots what? us. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to fire twice at Glim. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hell it is that's doing this, kill it really hard for me. Oh well. Bye. <laughs> and then he, uh. See you. And he makes his way out, yeah. Okay. It's probably uh, a better thing that he returns back. He was starting to bum Kisara out. Oh. Wouldn't it be cool to still have a ranger with us? Should we take that one out of the hole? We still have a ranger. Yeah, but we want to keep this one alive, huh? Because <laughs> you know, Glim, Glim can make him useful again. We can dig him up, and I can make him useful. Now that his brother's gone, it's up to you. He will be back. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, but he's not likely to move the rock. As long as we put the rock back, he won't know. <laughs> I'm going to kind of look at Kondo in a bit. He's not wrong. Necromancer's Cassie's got a She's necromancer, okay. you know. <laughs> Cassie has already said okay. Useful man. Fine by her. I, uh, uh, and he's okay. He's already dead. We're just gonna, we're just gonna reconstitute him. Glam can make reconstituted people. A kind of creep Cassandra out, but think of them as livingly challenged. I mean, um, I mean, they, they they won't be able to do calisthenics with me, right? I mean, mm. I don't really know how that works. Uh, no, they're generally not too sprightly. They're a little stiff. They're not great at parties. I mean, I I I, I generally want them to be um, people who are dead to be at peace. I mean, I. I I don't like the idea the of spirits it. at peace. We put him to rest. This is just a corpse. It's I know, just but meat and bone. 
It's now I, more useful than that big rock we stuck over know, the hole. But it makes me wonder, like, if, if those bug things killed me, I'd be flopping around. You're more likely to die by Kisara's hand. <laughs> oh. Well, that's and, um, not nice. <laughs> Glenn's going to hold up the cloak. Kisara did not say it would be on purpose. <laughs> and he he's says, probably trying to move the rock. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn's did- kind of small and hard to see, and Kisara's very sneaky. Um, This cloak is magic. It'll make it very hard to find you. Find who? Whoever wears the cloak. Glim doesn't need it. Glim's tiny. And Kitty can hide anywhere. It is true. He's so would one of you amazing. like to hide better? <laughs> if you are, if you'd like to, you can have the cloak. Glim will give. How, how about you give the cloak to Cassia? Okay. He is trying to move the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Just dra- drip it on her. Have a cloak. Although you might want to wash it first. Nice. It's a little stained. But it'll make you disappear, make you hard to see. She'll put it on. She doesn't care. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Coco Bell and Khan gives you, I think, plus five bonus to I believe hide so, skill yeah. checks. Nice. I'm sure so, no one will notice that you're walking around in a bloodstained cloak. <laughs> I mean, after a while, the blood turns brown and smells more like dirt <laughs> than He probably anything. has bloodstained so, stuff anyway. So the, the <laughs> second Cassia starts putting on the cloak, Kondo's going to come and push the rock out of the way. Okay, you are. I'm going to take over. Want, uh, then, in that case, um, <laughs> we are if y'all a bunch are down, of questionably moral people. I mean, Glim, Glim, you know. Look, I told you guys, Cassia has no understanding of human morals. Alrighty. Um, well, I mean, Kondo absolutely has morals of some degree, but he did almost get completely pincered and killed by two giant bugs. So, an extra body. You can let that go for now. All right. Well, then in that case, we're going to dig the corpse out from the hole. Mm-hmm. Um, for some reason, this spell doesn't like to work. There it goes. Um, okay. Um, I guess <laughs> we're going to... Yeah, we're going to zombify this this guy. Um, okay. So Glim is going to raise him as a zombie. Anybody he knows. Um, or knew. And he says, um, the zomb- as once the kind of zombie starts to crawl out of the ground, he's like, the zombie's out the ground. The zombie's out the ground. And if we get lucky, he might even stick around. And he gets all <laughs> excited and starts hopping. <laughs> I'm going to, um, um, like, fill the hole back in. There is step back. no yeah. small part of me that wants to die just so I can come back as a zombie. Okay, so basically, Wait, is this, is this your character, or are you speaking right now? That's me speaking for my character. <laughs> like, I want her to die so that she can come back as a zombie. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Glim's gonna basically have um, we have a zombie that will obey Glim and do what he tells it to. So, um, as I uh, can't have more than four hit dice worth of undead creatures per level, but that's twenty levels of undead that Glim can have up and running around. Um, total so um but there's only one dead thing here so he's only raising the one dead thing hmm. so we have one zombie uh yeah uh i'll just um drop one in and that'll <laughs> be what we're dealing with i don't have time to convert this guy into a i, I wasn't in it's just his dead body uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know any old zombie will do we don't care <laughs> Uh, he doesn't have a cloak anymore, so that guy doesn't make no sense. You should replace the rock. We can put the we can put the cloak back on if you want. I'll just I'll just say I'm just gonna use the a well hidden one. zombie or, and I'll just put like a color on him to make him look. Yeah, a, a, a stealth different. zombie. We can have a stealth zombie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hmm, maybe oh, I shouldn't have this DMPC here, and then you're just like, hmm, <laughs> maybe you should. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just use this guy. Um, okay. Uh, what are we going to name him, Glim? Name him? He doesn't need a name. Well, I want to be able to call him something. Fang. Call him Fang. Call him Dre. He's a tool. <laughs> He's a reconstituted people. 
Okay, reconstituted thing. Your primary job is to keep Clem alive. You stay near Clem and don't let things hit Clem. Okay. Uh, I thought that was my job, but okay. Uh, yeah, but you often run forward and try to fight things and leave Glim standing at the back. Well, I, I do that so they don't come to you. They come to me. Yeah, but now Glim has a meat shield between Glim and you. Um, does anybody have anything heavy? He can carry stuff, you know. He's strong. We can we can load him down like a pack like horse. Uh, uh, let's head let's head north, guys. Come on. Burning daylight. Let us go, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Forward thing. Okay, I have him ready to be turned into a thing for next time. Okay. <laughs> send the thing forth. Uh, yeah, the thing will will go forth. Um, Sarah, so we'll call him Jeffrey. Jeffrey. He constituted. We call him thing. Jeffrey. Is Ooh, far too nice sketch, dude. long. Jesus. Ooh, what's that good thing? Ooh, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> I want that thing. It looks like zero from. It does look like zero. I was it's so cool. Glad you knew what I was thinking. <laughs> it's a I thought awesome. the exact same thing. <laughs> I was like, it's zero. He just needs the nose. The little pumpkin. Yeah, no, that's um, that is a possum drowning in sap. Um, oh, I can see it. It does kind of look like a possum. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, he leads the way directly to the point on his map, um, as you've ushered him forward to do so. Uh, it looks like the bridge has broken. Um, you know, this thing happens from time to time. This is the narrowest point on the river, as denoted by the map, and why they put the bridge here oh, in this the is... first place. I gotcha. But, um, this is the river? Yeah, what was a river is now so overloaded with tree sap that it's like very slowly churning forward it's not um it's not water down there anymore it's 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 that Ew. stuff that you get stuck in and die as made really evident concerned. by the uh completely dead and dried and stuck little guy floating down the river he's not the only one he's just the only one i drew <laughs> <laughs> he's a representation of his kin <laughs> um well this isn't good Stop How there, thing. Far across is it from here to here? Okay, good question. Let's see. Looks like it's about thirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like from the the edge here and going upward here, like that would be an upward movement. Yeah. Um, so the cliff isn't an exact representation of how high up. It's higher up than it is far. So it's a, about a twenty foot fall into the what would be the water. Ooh. So we. Got about How far a... can I jump? <laughs> do we have rope? I know he took some of the rope back. But like, I have do we rope. Have it? Yeah, we have rope. Glim has a rope. I have, fact, I have pluses for a running jump. Can I take the um, rope and tie it to an arrow and shoot it at like one of the trees on this side somewhere? Um, you can certainly try to do that. I would like to try to do that with these. Okay. Long jumps without running um, start. I think there's a skill called use rope. It involves using rope. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that would probably be what you're using to put the rope on the arrow. Cool. Really as, well done. As competently as you can, you have tied a knot in a rope to an arrow. Got it. Now I'm going to shoot a tree. Okay. With this rope. Uh. Ooh. Oh, Holy shit. Nice shot. Um, you're like, you got the rope there, you know, and you've got the arrow, and it's, like, natural to you. For a second there, you're thinking, man, that's a rope that's going to clip on the, like, end of my bow when I release. And then you remember, oh, yeah, that thing I haven't really contemplated because this is all just emotion and not thinking. But there's a thing called Archer's Paradox, and I can, like, use that to my advantage to make the arrow bend and snap around the edge of my bow, which would make it so that it doesn't interact with the actual bow itself because of physics that I understand but don't know. So then you <laughs> just kind of make it work somehow. That's a natural 20. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've never had one of those before on this 
stream. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, hey! Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Congratulations! Pretty sure he goes around, she spins round and round and round, and then turns around and turns, ties a knot. <laughs> Just because, like, I don't play D20 systems with you guys. <laughs> right? That's true. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to one. We'll see. So now you have to outdo Marlo. Yeah, welcome to one. <laughs> you got 32 uh, to get in one session. Oh, and well, the question okay. was um, <laughs> earlier, why is Shaggett still at one? I'm just going to keep the tally for the whole thing. It just seems to make more sense. It's a shorter form story. and. Uh, gotcha. Okay, so you're going to yeah. keep that as, like, the running Yeah, total. yeah, it's going to be a Perfect. running 20 okay. counter. Um, not Perfect. per night. Uh... Well done, Cassia. It was very Thanks. impressive. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, so it's stuck in this tree. Um, the, the the rope is stuck in that tree, and uh, yeah. Uh, there goes that. Should we put a tug on uh, it a little bit, like to make yeah. sure that it's like the rope's gonna hold? Yeah, I was gonna say the downside to your nine on the rope use rope check is like, yeah, you tie it a knot, and it's a pretty good knot, sure. But it's just a little big. But then, like, you know, Archer's Paradox. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, the arrow bends like, with the force forward. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, that wasn't an issue. Uh, so somehow <laughs> that worked out. The issue now is where cool. do you fasten this rope and how do you get a man covered in 200 pounds of steel across this? <laughs> She's going to just try to, like, come here and then jump to the ledge and like walk up it like a climb almost okay so like you're using jump the rope as like a climbing tether okay mm -hmm. yeah oh so screw the rest of it <laughs> if she gets over there she can find a way to like help you guys okay over as well she's okay, trying to make sure talk. it's safe how how far can uh vendetta jump you think um without trying at least 15 feet hmm I think it's fair to say, like, because you're you're a magical cat creature from another dimension, and like <laughs> I can I can um personally jump twelve feet and like land on a thing and be okay. So like, <laughs> uh, I think that Kisaga would just get to the end of this as far as she could go, mm -hmm. and then she would leap. She has okay. great leap. Um, um, so we're gonna without call that a start. balance check, as that is just kind of floating in a weird mucky river. Okay. Uh, you have a plus three on that because that's my dexterity check. If it is dexterity based. You're limber. It's a dex bonus thing. You got a plus three. All right. So plus your. And that's why I had your roll. Um, <laughs> way to go. Thank you for the plus. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I can see it was really useful. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you get to the bottom. It's like walking on anything you normally walk on. It's almost like the sap is like. You could use this stuff as mortar. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's to the point where you don't have to roll for the jump at that point. Um, you got the rope, you got the edge, and your climb is like plus 12 or something. So yeah, you're up it. <laughs> um, Glim? Glim is tying his rope to um, Fang. <laughs> Glim is tying his rope to Jeffrey. Do okay. I do I need to make any checks to do my climb? Um yeah, you would you would want to um I'd say since the twenties are you don't have to balance down any unsettling edges of the uh stump into the water, which was previously water has been pushed into a little crook in the rocks. But um you will have to successfully climb up to not be sapped. Cool. Um, I'm going to sit on this rock and clean myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's... 21, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's not an issue for you. This is like any other walk in the park. Uh, cool. Except this park is smelly. Yeah, we'll get over there. And then um, look for some way to like maybe pull this or move this to where like it's easier for the guys to get across okay yeah um it'll yeah, i don't move. see any of us doing what you just did <laughs> yeah uh, yeah no so... she, she was coming over here to try to like push this over yeah. to see if like we could make a connect the bridge again yeah that looks like the other half of it so um mm -hmm. yeah it's it'll move it's just you know 
hard to move. Not like impossible to move. It just takes some time to push it through all the muck and such. So get it to fall again, so she can. So these bri- this broken bridge, mm-hmm. it's really just a log, right? Yeah. Like it's yeah. not an actual. So it's, balancing it's an on it. Tree, yeah. Balancing on it, going down an embankment is probably not the easiest thing in the world for someone in plate armor. Yeah. Isara didn't have a problem. How deep do you think it is, Kondo? <laughs> well, looking at that possum, I don't, I don't know. Glim's looking around to see if he can find a large, long stick. Um. Yeah, it's the woods. You'll find one. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, then he's going to poke it down in, like, reach forward... I guess move close to the edge here, um, reach forward and like stick it in to see, like lean forward and push it in to see if you can kind of get an idea of roughly how deep it might be towards the middle. Um, that would be, I guess, a survival check. You can't really see into the water because it's so mucky. Okay. Um, if he pulls the stick out, mm-hmm. I mean, Glim's because pretty you wise. You can't like so touch he... the bottom of it exactly from where okay. you're at. You'd have to be down in it to get there um yeah so glim can ascertain so if you've got a long stick and i guess probably long for glim is about a five foot stick um Mm -hmm. it'll like he can almost get to where his whole hand is in and he's not touching the bottom yeah yeah it's it's deep okay yeah he looks back at kondo and says it's really deep kondo we don't want to fall in there no um <laughs> well, I think the first thing I need to do is get this shield over there so I'm not encumbered by it. So. Let's see. Can oh. I can I tie the rope that ca- the edge of the rope that Cassia used and fired around the shield so that they could just drag it kind of across? Would that stick into it or uh I mean, like, it would be covered in sap once it gets to the other side, but yeah, the, you could do that. I mean, I don't really have another option, right? <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to just hurl it. <laughs> Hurling well, down. I mean, I, I'm going to tie a rope around it, so right. I guess I have to use, a, use rope, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey. Oh, Jesus, this can go bad, but sure. Is a shield consider? Would you consider shield a weapon? Um, a shield is a shield. It's its own class. There are shields that can that are weapons, but tower shields you can't use as a weapon. Well, They're too big. I had an idea, but it's not going to work then. <laughs> so I, I tie oh, a rope around the shields. You feel very confident about your 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 tying hands today. And then I'm going <laughs> to walk up. I'm going to walk up to the edge, and I'm going to say, uh. Cassia, uh, um, Vendetta, mine's grabbing the rope that's attached to the shields. I'm going to throw it as far as I can across, and then you just drag it up. Does that sound good? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to get into... abandon the bridge and go, like, start pulling the rope. Well, well, Isara will supervise. <laughs> I'm going to have to throw it first. So I'm going to... She's going to try like, to get momentum with you. Yeah, those Olympians who do that, like... Kind discus of or... a discus thing, yeah. I'm gonna try to to toss it as far across as I possibly can. He's gonna can. already be pulling the rope, trying to like preemptively mm. keep that momentum with the rope too, so the rope doesn't. Okay. Yeah, keeping it tight the whole time. Shag, yeah. just think about it. How badass would it have been if your shield was considered a weapon and you could have just used my crystal of return? <laughs> Stuck it to it. <laughs> yeah. If that would be cool. He'd have probably if it dropped was a it in a smaller shield or a buckler. Yeah, he'd probably drop say, it yeah. down in that mud. <laughs> right? I mean, and you rolled a one and been like, "Whoops! Well, there goes the shield and the." I mean, it's right. going into the mud anyway. But, Sorry, you know. one. <laughs> it might not. You might make it. So yeah, I'm gonna throw. How, should, so should I just? What should I do to throw? Like, what's uh, that's the? Just uh, a, that's just a strength thing, isn't it? How heavy is that guy? Well, there's the there's a strength roll. The shield is um, twenty three pounds. Hmm. So yeah, I mean it's a, it's a dark it's wood big, tower right? shield, so it's it's half weight, like it's a special material okay. wood. So yeah, um, so given that and they're pulling on it, um, 
I'd say like as long as they're like pulling on their feet and like running with it. Um, I'm just gonna say that it clamors against the wall on the other side as it lands and they're able to get it up without anything on it because everything that could have been in your favor there was. And then Cassia will go back to trying to um, lower the bridge, I guess. Okay, so how, Imagine how exactly if... are you going through with that? Because, like, it's stuck deep into, like, the, the muck, right? Mm -hmm. And if you just let mm -hmm. it go, it'll just all go in. <laughs> She's trying to get the momentum shifted from against the wall okay. into um, this direction. And you're trying to like kind of push it so that it'll here. hopefully yeah. flop onto so it the lands other side. Right on here. Okay. So they can get as close to this wall as possible without. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm in. just going to call that a vague dexterity challenge. <laughs> okay. I like vague dexterity challenge. Well, you have, a, you have a plus three on that. Okay, plus three to this. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 22. Dang. Okay. Uh, thank God for motivate dexterity, Jesus. Yeah, thank God right. for motivate dexterity. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna do exactly what you intended. Uh, I can't move it because it's drawn into the map. Yeah, that's but, fine. Um, I basically, just, yeah. this is now like there, um, and you've got like basically it's leaning down into this little edge here, kind of creating a little bit of a bump there. But it does sink too deep into like. You don't have a footing directly against the wall. It's just very close. Yeah, she was just trying to get them closer because it's easier to get across if they're closer. Yeah, I will accept the 22 as a viable solution. She'll uh, <laughs> untie, she's going to untie the shield and try to toss the rope back at him. Okay. To like give him a little balance or something. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, think you can do it? We could tie the rope here. And use it as kind of a, to pull across, to walk uh -huh. across. You could go first. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks. Can do the the rope Saga believes in me. Or something. I mean, can thing just, you know, like carry me across? I mean, You're too heavy. All right. I mean, the combined uh, muscle of the other two could probably just drag Gwim's ass up the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's fail at D&D, &D, guys. I'm going to... Can I scooch? Like, could I just <laughs> get my get my ass and plopped on this trunk and, like, grab the rope and kind of shimmy down it like a fucking weirdo? Like a dog with worms? You know, I'll give, yeah. you, I'll give you a plus two to complete humility at this point. Ass dragging? Um... <laughs> I'll give you a plus two on that because you're you're doing it as carefully as you can. Is the rope tied to the other end or? Oh, to the side that Cassie is on. Yeah, because like there's, because Glenn brought up tying the rope on the other side, but is it like tied over there or? Yeah, that's what we we're thinking. We and then we can use it as like a tree. guide. Okay. Uh, um, oh, before you go, Glenn wants to tuck the other end of his rope into your belt and tie a loose knot to it. Okay. So, who's not? Um, that's all. So who's tying the the rope on the uh, on your end? Uh, Glim will tie the rope to the rock, uh, to the tree. Okay. Um, For you, Glim was a boy scout initiative. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, skills. Well, you have plus three on any dexterity based skill check, guys. So yeah, Glim is them. not great. Um, let's uh, let's see. Where's the uh, use rope. So, Glim has a plus three. He doesn't know that he isn't good at this. <laughs> he thinks he can tie knots. Oh, hey. But you can, apparently. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is all building to me failing this role. <laughs> um, okay. I so, feel like all these really good roles means I'm going to fail my role. Right. So, one end of the rope one end of Glenn's rope is tied to Zomfrey, okay. um, and the other end of it is tied to your belt. But there's plenty of slack. Okay. Well, if a zombie fails his balance check, you're going when down. When the zombie with fails him. his balance check and goes in there. Um, so the so okay. So the idea is, if I fail my scooching, I'm going to fall into the bucky water. How will the thing tied around me help be helpful? Like. 
Zombies are strong. He can pull you back out of the water, hopefully. <laughs> so Glenn never said it would help you. Um, <laughs> and, and and ironically, that isn't what Glenn intended. But as soon as you bring it up, Glenn okay. will point out that that would work. Okay. Glenn's more interested in you getting to the other side and then you having the rope tied to the zombie because Glenn intends to ride the zombie across. And if Glenn falls in or the zombie falls in, He's hoping you're you're all collectively strong enough to pull them out. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's kind of the marching order. Is Glim getting on the back of the zombie at this point, or? Uh, not yet. Okay. In case um, Glim needs to help the zombie pull Kando, uh, Kando back out of the okay, water okay. if he falls okay. in. All right. So I'm getting on my ass and scooting like a dog with worms. Yep. And down uh, this okay. log, using a rope that's across the river as a okay. guiding. Okay. Um, so that's dexterity. Yep. He's so you got your plus a, three dog. from you. And we're making sure that there's plenty of slack. So. You got plus two from scooting on your ass and taking your time. Uh, scooch. Uh, and then you got another plus two from using the rope to check your balance. So that's a total seven bonus to your roll. So it's actually ten because I have a plus three as right. well. So my... you have a plus ten on this. Plus ten balance check. How's that, armor, how's that armor check coming Bad. in? Bad. <laughs> Well, the armor check penalty is minus five because yeah. it's yeah. masterwork. Okay. So it still is your plus five. Okay. Yes. You can do it. You can do it. So I have a plus seven on my dex roll, wearing armor, which is actually more impressive than it's ever been before. Mm-hmm. So here we go. Balance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 okay, the second he plops in there, um, Glim, will, Glim is gonna ru- gonna rush forward, pick up the slack of the rope, hand it to Zombie, and say, "Pow, pow, Zombie, pow!" This is how it happens. I go to plop on my ass, and the wounds I still have from my leg flares up. And you know how when you get like that Charlie horse, the cramp? So I literally just plop on my ass to scooch and slide up. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, oh! And the weight, the collective weight, pulls me to the left. That's that's how I die. (laughs) <laughs> That's how I die. Um, not necessarily. Uh, you have a zombie pulling, and zombies so don't have strength Glim or strength. and the zombie are going to be tugging on the rope to try to pull you through the crap and back to the edge. At least, at least maybe enough to get your head above water so you can grab hold of the log. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just I love this because you called it and you knew. Um, so yeah, uh, Glenn, you're helping pull. Uh, yeah, with my nine strength. Give me what and you got. With my nine strength and about sixty pounds of weight. Oh, sorry, forty-one pounds. Uh, my, well, my armor, my armor's heavy. Because your, your zombie's pulling fourteen. Okay, yeah, he's like pulling, and uh, I'm pulling. Maybe athletics. Let me do an athletics check. Okay. Which is there's no athletics, so it would be. Oh, it's, a, yeah, that's right. Um, it might just be straight strength, I know. Yeah, that will work. And if it's strength, that's great news because I have a minus one. Mm. So, you know, but hey. Six. Yes. yes. That brings it up to twenty. <laughs> We're like, eh. <laughs> um, it's not graceful, but it is enough to stop him from sliding completely in into the uh, to the tar pit below. Um, the mass will take you forward, and yeah, you're falling down. You did specify left, because um, <laughs> the rope is there, and that makes sense. Um, but yeah, thanks to them pulling on you, you don't just barrel into the hole. You're kind of propped up against the edge it's... of the uh, log to your back, and you've got like a hand on the rope, and you're like falling in, 
at this point. Um, it's very not pretty. It's very yeah, ungraceful. It's, it's a little hideous. But um, I will give you a chance to pull yourself up a little bit here. Uh, All right. Now that you're what at you... the bottom where the expertly placed um, <laughs> log down here is, uh, you've kind of got a new footing you can kind of stop yourself on. Yes. What, what, what should I roll to get... What do you want me to roll? Uh, I'll have to it's it's, it's going to be your strength. You're fighting a frozen river. Well, a stuck river. A sticky river. So just a straight strength check. Yep. Okay, 12. Yeah. It, again, it's not pretty, but you're not, like, in it. You haven't fallen to the bottom. Uh, you're, you're, on, you're on the weird correlated logs thing. You feel really rickety on it. The, the new log that was just pushed into place, it's not settled in a position exactly, but it is helping you get to grips. You are now standing at the bottom of this little ridge, and, uh, yeah. Uh, Could have died. Didn't, because yeah. failsafe. <laughs> Alright, um, now what, guys? Uh, this is really your specialties. You are so graceful. Um, I'll climb take any... Climb out. Climb out. Climb. It's huh? all in the position of your tail. Tail. <laughs> Yes. Okay, I'll I'll Throw keep my condo. I'll keep my tail in mind. Um, you must spin it when you feel like you're falling. <laughs> Start warming up. Speak with Dead Gore. <laughs> <laughs> now, Condo's c contemplating, you know, helicopter motions with his tail. You like? It's just going through his head. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm going to like like a fucking dumbass he is. I'm gonna start like kind of twerking a little bit, uh -huh. pretending I have a tail for balance, like That's using right. it for Use visual. That cake. You got this, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to activate my watchful eye minor aura <laughs> to give me bonus on reflex saves. Okay. Because I'm assuming like if I try to climb, I might need to reflex. You know, mm -hmm. it'll be beneficial. Even though no longer dexterity skill checks, yeah, it's yeah. kind of a trade-off. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me again how much your entire outfit weighs. So my outfit weighs a uh, beautiful and wonderful uh, forty pounds. Hmm. So yeah, so you're like two hundred something pounds. Yeah. Okay. Should Abby I not twerk? She's not very strong, but she's gonna be trying to like be at the edge to help pull him up when he use the closed. momentum of okay. your twerk. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just wondering how heavy you are against a loosely floating log. Yeah, but, yeah, but she's that's just what she's gonna. She's gonna be on the edge yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to be ready to pull okay. up when he gets close. So, so yeah. if I try to do a jump to the wall. Is there anything to grasp onto on the wall, the ledge to climb um, up? I mean, it's a it's a kind of like a sandstone rock face. It's not you got the rope still? impossible to climb. It's just, you know, jumping to it might be a little bit out with an additional entire child's worth of weight on you. And how high is this wall again? I. Uh, there's a ten footing. Was it a ten footing climb? Or was it twenty? Something like that. Yeah, you said twenty. Yeah, it's twenty. It's, a, it's an average twenty foot incline. So. Okay, so I'm gonna position myself to be as as stable as I can be. Okay. And I'm going to then start detaching pieces of my armor. I was wondering if you were gonna do that. I was like. I mean, yeah. I could have done it when I was on the other side, but now that I'm closer, I figure. This will be a long, grueling process, guys, so forgive me. But I'm going to detach a part, tie it to a rope so you guys can pull it up, detach another piece. I mean, it takes a long time to just dismantle plate armor anyway. I'm aware of that. But I'm going to get as much of it off of my person as possible so I'm not carrying the load. Okay. I think that's a good idea. So just, you know, you throw a rope down, I tie a piece, you, you pull it up, I tie it, take another part off, rinse, repeat for like an hour. It would probably take an hour. I imagine yeah. it would take an hour. Yeah, it would take a long um, time to do that. 
you know, because it takes like 20 minutes when you're not sitting on a rickety ass log in the middle of a tar pit. Yep. So, is it sunny? Um, the sun is just now starting to set. Mm. Given that that took an hour, um, so you have like daylight for another like two three hours before it starts getting to like darker night. Mm. Sorry, guys, but this is the price yeah. you pay for having plate armor. Um, so yeah, you, you, uh, it up as you, give it to you take off some armor. You take off some weight. Mm -hmm. Probably a good move. So now I'm going to try to make myself to the rock face to climb up. That's my goal. Okay. Being free of the plate armor. Okay. Uh, it's pretty tall. You've got a rope that you can kind of rely on. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just gonna be a climb check without your, without your armor penalty, which will help. Cassie's okay. still there to help if you talk. And, yeah, and you've got, you know, a, a help, I'd say, and I take five feet off the challenge because you're getting help at the end. Um, and then with the help of the rope, again, it's like a plus five there, so... Oh, so it's actually so with that's another plus, that's a plus ten you're saying. Uh, it's a plus five for the check, and then the check's challenge rating is lower because it's five feet shorter. Okay, so just so just plus five to yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so well, this has about as much chance as the other chance. So let's see what happens. Seventeen. Oh, yeah. Okay. All told. So, oh wait. Oh, yeah, no. You got that was a jump check. Oh, 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 well, um, oh, my bad, I did the wrong one. Yeah, I was confused. Uh, climb would be the same. It's okay, the same okay. as my so job. It's the same. So. Okay. Um, yeah, no, so you put it together. You get up there. Again, not easy, not fun. Your leg's killing you at this point. It's been bit, and now it's got, like, weird festery, gross sap kind of on it, and, like, eh. yeah. ugh. <laughs> but you're there. Cassie's going to help the zombie here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn so, around and... It yeah. So, yeah, you've got a rope tied to you that is also tied to the zombie. Right. So now, Glim is going to climb on the on Zomfree's shoulders. Okay. And he is going to just purely play the odds. Um, you know, get a <laughs> six-foot zombie and a three-foot Glim. Um, it, he's going to try to get the zombie to walk and plop down into the mud because he's not even he knows he can't balance right okay glim's gonna try to reach up and hold on to this and do this number across okay because yeah the rope and, bows a little yeah yeah um and order the zombie to cross to the other side with glim on its shoulders that's his game plan <laughs> um yeah so if that's how you're doing it, you'll descend with the zombie probably down the log until it can't anymore, and then zombies in the muck, about where it's deepest, and he just, you know, plops himself in. You on his yep. shoulders uh, kind of converts to being on top of his head for a minute, and yeah, it's like I'm really rough going. That rope you're mostly on the rope through there, my yeah. hands. Um, but you still have enough of a footing. It's kind of like reaching for something in what would normally be a pretty low cupboard, but since you're very short. Um, and you, you get to the other side, the top, like, the shoulders of the zombie are out at this point. But, like, you know, you've still got, so, you, so what, you're up an extra foot on the wall. It's a 20-foot wall. They're reaching down for five of it. So. <laughs> I, got the, I got the rope. That I'm, help. <laughs> I'm going to start pulling with the rope that was attached to me. Okay. Uh, so Glenn being the first thing attached is going to be the first thing pulled up and since he's the size of a toddler and you carry more in armor um, it's not hard for you to get him out <laughs> I'm not even going to bother with a roll there um, that being said Glenn's going to zombie, pointlessly yeah. help to try to pull Zomfrey up okay Yeah. yeah if Zomfrey of course is dead weight because Zomfrey doesn't know how to climb it's too much finesse <laughs> Yeah. so I mean with with the help of everyone you'll be able to get the zombie out of the muck Yay! Sure. We made it. And you've all made it to the other side. Yay! <laughs> of, of the river. Exhausted and relieved, I'm just gonna collapse, having <laughs> still not been in my armor and okay. my shield destiny. 
Um, does considering it's late, um, does Kondo still look kind of hurt now he's out of his armor? Can I see like? Oh yeah, yeah. He's still <laughs> he's still he's still hurting. Okay. Um, Slim's gonna come wandering over and goes. That looks painful, Black Kondo. Uh, 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 it, it, I was just gonna sleep it off, you know. Uh, get a good night's rest, although it's not festering. No, no, no. He might get infected. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, let's clean the world. That, that was what I was going to do next after I caught my breath. Um, um, Glim would like to try to clean your wound for you. <laughs> Licking it is the best way. Glim is not going to lick it. <laughs> yes, uh, no one lick this. No one lick it, please. please That's no not a good idea. This. Um, We're all so a with a, with a water skin so. and as best he can. Uh, 24 heal check on cleaning it. Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know, you're using, like, a, like an alcohol that's with your medicine kit to just kind of, like, clean it up, and you're noticing this is also kind of lifting off some of the sap, which was already a little loose thanks to the water, but, like, you're getting them kind of cleaned up. It's, it's, it's not totally gross. Uh, thank, thank you. And uh, you're um, not at risk for infection, though. Thank you. <laughs> and then I am going to say, do you have something to bite down on? And then without waiting for him to answer, um, <laughs> I'm doing a eight point cure light <laughs> wounds. Oh, that's, again, so basically, again, yeah, he, he like touches the ouchie with his fingers and it goes tss, and like burns. Uh, you notice Glenn's got a smirk on his face when he does it. <laughs> Thank you for uh, reconstituting yeah. my Spirits flesh. aid me. I have journey to singe <laughs> these wounds. <laughs> <sighs> you feel better now, Kondo? Yes, yes, uh, <laughs> yes. The rest I can get with sleep. It'll be great. It'll be fine. Cassie's going to look around and see if there's anything that's dangerous okay. or out of place for us. Okay. Um, I got one. I got one heal left. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, other than I've got um, cure minor, so I can do a five points worth of cantrip, and I've got one cure light. I'm trying to think which would be more appropriate for you. I'm uh, saving. Uh, um, does, nobody spot. else is hurt, right? No. Go ahead and give me a spot check, then, Cassie. Spot check. Okay. Ooh, um, looks so good, Jesus. So yeah, uh, you, you look hard. into the woods, and on this side, everything seems pretty dead. Um, <laughs> you don't you don't notice anything uh, threatening or anything, but um, you do see up ahead. There's a bit of a clearing, um, and since it's getting late, um, sleeping next to a cliff might not be as fun as maybe this next spot you're witnessing up here. Beeps. I wanted to find clearing, safe place, something where we don't have to worry as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And with that, I'm... the added bonus of a moat. Of like, you there know, caustic sap, but you know, a moat. Caustic sap. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, I'm not going to put on my armor again, but I am going to take it and carry it in piecemeal over to this clearing. Okay. okay. Zomfre can keep watch. All right, now that my furry asshole is gone. <laughs> the furry asshole. <laughs> Are these all like dead trees? Uh, yeah, so all the trees here have since bled all of the sap and life essence out of them. Uh, the trees here are all just totally burned out. They were dense, though, and they were, like, alive. Um, creating a bit of almost like a wall of brambles around. And that is that sap, uh, the darker stuff here. Oh, okay. That's not like a, a wall or something. That's... No, no, it's that gotcha. sap. Okay. Yeah. In that case, then, Glim is going to like position himself up underneath a tree mm-hmm. and act like he's about to get ready to rest up. And then he's going to tell Zomfrey to uh... Stand about where he is, uh, about there, and say, "If anything 
If anything, anything alive that isn't us comes by, make a lot of noise and wake up Kondo. And points at Kondo. <laughs> <laughs> He sounded like the things that were dead that came by as well. Uh, well, okay. Anything that comes by, living or dead, living or reconstituted. Um, can he wake me up non painfully? Maybe, you, you know, like. Ah. Uh, try not to hurt Kondo. <laughs> oh. uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cassie's I'm gonna I, climb a tree. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna rest up against it with all my armor off, my shield next to me, so I can sleep okay. comfortably. Be um, over here in the dark, the shadiest part I can find. So yeah, the uh, the since you're not in a hurry or anything, climbing the tree is no problem. It's more just uh that. The branches are kind of dried out, mm -hmm. so like you got to be really careful with your like foot placement to make sure you're like really close to the crook of Can the. Can she uh... find a place to kind of like set up? I don't know, like a hammocky yeah, bed yeah, type you'll, thing. You'll find like a spot where like the trunk branches off, and you'll be able to curl up in there. But um, yeah, so it's getting there. You got to like climb really close to the trunk to not snap mm -hmm. off any branches. Cool. And Vendetta's just gonna hide over there. Yes. Okay. Just being, I imagine, careful not to get the sap on, on your fur. Yes, that would suck. <laughs> Slim is just going to curl up and try to get to sleep. Okay. He thoroughly trusts. Vendetta <laughs> is very vain in her beautiful blue fur. Hmm. Alright, so uh, this, this marks a rest. No uh, campfire or anything, right? Just... I'm afraid yeah. we burn down what... Well... Glim's... Glim's not gonna light a fire, but if anybody else wants to, he certainly I mean, won't care. I just eat dried f rations of food. You know, it's like a just, makeshift dinner. Just yeah, chipping just... your teeth on it, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Our tech is hard. That's why they call it that. More <laughs> lambus bread. Okay. I look uh, around to see if any hobbits have dropped any lambus bread. <laughs> let's let's see what we got. Let's see what they would have done. Um. Yeah, so uh, other than once or twice, the zombie wakes up Kondo just to point out some um, like migratory birds dancing on the tops of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did realize that flaw in that plan, but it didn't bother me. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like uh, it's like three times overnight. You just hear. Uh, well, I totally uh, wake up. So so every once in a while, maybe Glenn will wake up to Kondo saying. Uh, thanks for the migration patterns. Uh, not what do we need? Let me sleep, please. <laughs> Maybe that'll wake them up because he does. Kondo definitely says it loudly. Like, and the, nope, like, yeah. not a threat. Okay. Not a threat. <laughs> thing, not a threat. Thing. Yeah, the problem with it is, it's like you know, you'll have three or four birds, and until all three or four birds have completely cleared the area, you know, the zombies just like patting you on the face, trying to wake you up. <laughs> Yeah, so for most of the night, I'm just pushing it the hand away. Okay. Nope, nope. Sam Free's very tactile with his affection. I mean, yeah. it's how he is. I mean, hey, worship it, at, least, at least he's not a ghoul, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Slaps you in the you face, you're paralyzed. <laughs> Quick, wake him up by shaking him. He'll be paralyzed for like six rounds, but you know, he'll be awake. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, so then the night the night just passes through um, without any harm. You gotta like you gotta like these rules. You gotta like these rules. You gotta like these rules. You gotta like this game. This game we're playing. Ooh. Nothing bad happens that night. In that case, get a then I'm rest. gonna clear my spell list because I'm gonna. So I was very less than optimal because. My current spells were selected based on what would he have mulling around town. Mm. Um, so a lot of my stuff was utility. Mm -hmm. Gives you time to suit up in your armor. But in the morning, yep. I can actually, actually pray for things that might be of value to us. So, <laughs> yep, I'll, I'll. I just love for lack of a better word that Glim walks around in his day to day with speak with dead. 
That's just like his. Of course. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and <laughs> anime dead, of course. Yeah. Anime dead and speak to dead are two of his main staples. Oh, and just for the record, um, he casts undetectable alignment every morning. That is always in his repertoire. Mm. That's. Um, that's so basically, concerning. he has a uh, he he has one second level spell less than he ever will have because he gets up in the morning, hides his alignment, and um, <laughs> goes about his business. Okay. He doesn't trust paladins. They tend to make ju- they tend to judge things way too, that they don't understand. <laughs> yeah. They get way, they get just too judgy. <laughs> That's totally fair. For, for lack of better terminology, I'm going to strap on today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's called donning, but yeah. yeah no, I don strap my, on. I don, I don my strap-on armor. <laughs> Excellent. Just waiting for junk to come out with the meme for that. Okay. And yeah, yeah, completely uneventful. Oh, right. Otherwise, yeah. Would you care to carry on? Oh uh, well, it's it is kind of ten forty, like... so. Yeah. I think that's a great place for us to stop. Okay, fine. No cliffhanger. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on to the cliffhanger. If the cliffhanger is like right around the corner, we oh, can yeah, do it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you guys uh, continue to follow the path, right? You follow the, yeah, follow let's follow the path. path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make us move faster and <laughs> follow the brown sap road. Follow the brown sap road. And, uh, yeah. Yep. I don't, I don't Motivate really dexterity. I'm and... assuming the zombie's going first to scout for like pitfalls and stuff. Um, I'll follow. That would be behind the zombie. He, yeah, he, or, I, I'm basically going to have him 20 feet ahead of us, maybe. Okay. Close enough that we can cover distance to get to him quickly, but far enough that if anything bad happens, it happens to him first. And I will always try to stick to the shadows if I can. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, thanks for the entire description. That was really good. I, gave exactly I will be directly behind Kondo wherever he goes. <laughs> um, you get to the next thing marked on the map, which is this. Uh, your zombie has marched right up to it, uh, and being a completely ab- unnatural aberration type thing, um, you can kind of make out in the woods uh, behind it uh, a couple of a couple of guys who uh, don't seem very thrilled about him being there. Um. Oh. Groove. Well, as soon as we get into this clearing area, Glim is going to tell. The zombie. Stay there. Don't move. Those oh. wooden boots. Grew, grew to stack. <laughs> yeah. They're peeling themselves out of the trees and Grute- uh, this is Grutella. Yeah, they're they're peeling themselves out of the trees and starting to work their way forward as if to protect the thing in the middle, uh, hissing and howling and making all kinds of wood creaky noises at the zombie that shouldn't exist. Oh, that's not nice. And that's where we we'll, that's where we'll call it for tonight. Yay. Wood creaky Yay. noises. Yay. Wood creaky noises. Yay, we have a zombie that's Excellent. fucking us over more than it's helping. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that zombie's been very useful. <laughs> We all got a reasonable night's sleep. No one had to watch. It got me across the moat. It'll probably die here, and we'll find out what these things do before Before (laughs) they kill us. They make terrific scratching posts. Yeah. How can they do? Okay. Their boobs are magnificent. Their boobs are magnificent. (laughs) I may have overshaded. (laughs) <laughs> hey, I think they look fine. cool. Yeah, they're, they're they are cool. I like them. They're neat little tokens. Yeah, thanks. I had five minutes. Um. <laughs> Braggart. <laughs> so what he could have done with six. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll go back and fix the the overly pronounced bosoms. No, no, leave them no, alone. No, leave them. <laughs> <laughs> no, please hey. keep them. <laughs> You have no, you have no right to infringe on those women's bodies. You leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. Sweet. So yeah, that's that's what we can. Awesome. We can call that was it. Fun. Yay. Woo-hoo. Fun. There is a way I can. I, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that you let Glim race that zomp, that ranger, <laughs> but um. <laughs> I was well, thoroughly expecting protesting, and I would have just accepted that with a shrug and said, "Okay." <laughs> I have I mean, no it's... reason to protest. 
So it's funny because Kondo is neutral good. Um, so he tends to believe in the good of things, but at the same time, he did not like how that fight went, especially since he failed the bull rush. So the uh, prospect of a meat shield, especially since the ranger decided to leave when it was very he was very useful. I was like, You're incredibly like, gullible as well. So. <laughs> uh, very much so. Like you know, and as we said, Glim Glim doesn't see when the spirit is gone in Glim's mind. It is literally a meat sack. It is bone, it is flesh, it is whatever. He sees it no different as a dead tree, a dead, a, you know, a rock, um, dead leaves. It, if it can be useful, he takes the material component and turns it useful. He doesn't see it as interfering with the spirit as such. Spirit's long since gone, right? So. As I said before, it's just he understands that a lot of people, for some reason, don't like the concept of bringing their dead ones back. So he tries to be accepting of the way that society is, even though he doesn't agree with it and understand it. So. Yeah, she's chaotic neutral. It's fine by her. Bring them all back. Yeah, Benet is also chaotic neutral. She just doesn't <laughs> care. There you go. Yeah. See? It works. Cassie Cassie probably of- thinks it's more interesting to see them. Like, She's so mm. curious about things, and this is something that you don't see in nature. So she's probably really into it, like, super cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, K- Kondo would only really protest if if it was done in front of someone who really disapproved. Like, if any of the other party members said, don't do it, he would side with them instantly. But otherwise, everyone seems to be kind of okay with it, so he's like, all right, I mean... <laughs> Peer I'll, I'll, I'll believe you. Yeah, he's gullible in that sense. He wants to just be helpful. And if yeah. this helps them. Like Glim's concept is if a poor if, if a if a woman see this is what happened to Glim, like his family left where they live because of a, a blight a, a plague. They all fled, thinking that they avoided it, but it turns out his dad didn't. His dad died. Glim and his brother and his mother were left to have to deal with it themselves. And Glenn was pissed that his dad is just laying there doing nothing, being dead, (laughs) not providing for his family. Um, So when Glenn eventually, blah, 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 down the road, Glenn found out that this is a thing you can do. He's like, hey, I would have loved to have been able to bring my useless father back and make him carry the firewood and do things for us so that you know so he could at least still be useful so he's all about you know hey you know oh there's a a poor widow here that can't fend for herself would you like me to bring your husband back and then he can at least still be useful to you he would happily do things like that you know that's that's a glim type thing he doesn't see it as being bad yeah but he's not going to force it on somebody if they're not okay with it you know fine if you don't want if you don't want to have a beast of burden that looks like your husband, fine. Like, like you know he's like a post post conventional moralist. Yeah. You carry the damn logs then. <laughs> I'm no longer deciding what's right and wrong. <laughs> I really do want Cassia to die so she can come back and I can play as a zombie Cassia. <laughs> You'll lose There's a lot of ability. Room. Die oh, a later yeah. level so that he can bring you back something cooler. <laughs> yeah. Because right now, zombies and skeletons are all we uh, is all I got. So yeah, the role know. play would just, just be just doing cool. whatever he told you to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> as as someone who has played an undead creature on how we roll, uh, there's a lot to lose doing so. I mean, there's some to gain, and I mean, I'm not gonna recklessly die, but, <laughs> but if if what I happened to Amlin was special, I'm right? Just thinking so, about it. but if I do die, I do want to be a zombie. <laughs> Even go. if I can't play it, I do want to be a zombie. I mean, well, there's a f- unless everybody else protests, there's a very good chance that that's what will happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, if that fight would have been going really badly for us, um, I'd have done it there and then. We'd have brought the dead. Ma- we'd, have, we'd have just gone ahead and brought the dead guy back and to hell with what the ranger thought. Yeah. Yeah, we'll deal with that problem later. Um, but- As somebody who has died more than once. <laughs> Would not recommend. Buffy. Pretty boring. I died twice. <laughs> I mean, not not no. Uh-uh. I haven't died in, in any of our games yet. I, it's time, right? That's kind of the rule. 
Sooner or later, it happens. I really so. thought Cthulhu was going to kill me, but it didn't, yeah. so I Me feel too. Like... Oh, wait, it did. That one. Well, Cthulhu did kill that's, you. That's yeah. the thing that's kind of fun with our show is, uh, yeah, we could die. all die at any moment. We yeah. play really smart <laughs> as a result, and we do our best, and hopefully we don't die. It's very rare for it to happen, but it does. I'm when ready it does. for it. <laughs> was it. I was expecting it in the first game, and I've expected it ever since. So far, I've stayed alive, but... I mean, Matt, Matt's character and Mordred, my character, died in Call of Cthulhu, but yeah. Mordred died kind of epically. He went out no, blowing Matt's something up. No, Matt's character Matt's lived. Matt's character lived. Matt lives, yeah. Yeah, we Still. lived, because I said I wanted to come back. If we ever did a one-shot, I wanted us to come back as our characters, as, like, oh. hunters of the supernatural later. Mordred didn't die alone, so it was the life. It was Casey's character who died, Casey right? Casey jumped One into of... its arms, remember? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's... <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah. I, I at least had two Molotovs and jumped at it. I mean, that was... She embraced yeah. the Cthulhu monster. <laughs> the giant slime beast. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Beneath did. the veil, but switch gnomes with me, Gore. <laughs> 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 but we appreciate it, guys. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Thanks for everybody that subbed and resubbed. I enjoyed myself. I hope everybody else did. Mm -hmm. yes. again, Thank guys. you, guys. Thank you, Satch. Yeah, I love doing appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Much Bye. love. Watch Twitters to find out about uh, the schedules next week. Bye. Bye.